Okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see here. I'm also playing Scrabble against my mom, and I'm in a very bad position. Mm hmm. I got a fucking Q, and there's no more letters to be played. So, uh. Yeah. So, looking, looking bad for the old Will stir over here. Oh, it's probably a Riona day. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Good evening. Officer, welcome. Hey, Bamumo. How you doing? Oh, you're talking to me. Oh. Officer. By the way, hi, chat. <laughs> hi, chat. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, my mind is kind of elsewhere right now. No worries. Work issues? What else? I'm all ears if you want to chat. <laughs> you're a pal. I'm in real... I'm in a real bond, Davumo. What happened? Well, never-ending workplace issues aside, things are getting weirder by the minute, and I'm feeling out of my depth. Are you talking about your recent patrols? It's Ghost Spoomoomo. <laughs> it's Ghost Spoomoomo. Uh, yeah. I've been analyzing the CCTV footage the last couple of days. Oh, I see. How'd that go? Did the cameras manage to capture anything? Yes and no. The infrared's got a couple of blurry things. They ran off, turned a corner, and disappeared. Could have been anything, like rats or cats. But neither fits with what I heard on the scene. The footsteps, you know? Laughter. <laughs> Come to think of it, it sounded more like giggles. Giggles? Can werebeasts giggle? <laughs> Not at that size, no. <laughs> Even if they could, it doesn't explain the footsteps, really. I see. I'm gonna ignore you for a minute. That's fair. Have a nice day. So, what's next? I have some ideas, but they're just wild theories at this point. In short, I'm stumped. You know, Bamumo. I do know him. I'm... <laughs> I've been racking my brain ever since Miss Riona dropped that bomb about the fairies, you see. Oh, what about him? As it turns out, fairies was an umbrella term for many types of beings. It's definitely not a cool term to use anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that didn't fit the known physical rules at the time was to be referred to as such. Oh. Hmm. Does that mean banshees were part of the fairy folk? <laughs> Probably. Not anymore, though. It's an ongoing process, but the list is getting shorter. Back then, any sentient being that was even remotely incomprehensible was considered that. And that includes apparitions. Apparitions. Yes. Apparitions like... Ghosts. Dude, banshees are ghosts. What? You know a ghost. Just... Uh. Freya walks in. Did I not mention I've been dead this whole time? <laughs> also, I'm Freya. Ghosts. Ghosts. Oh, okay. I see. What do you mean, I see? Sorry, game. You've had the ability to bold text this whole time. <laughs> huh? Doesn't it sound like a bad joke to you? Uh, I'm not sure I follow. Bud, come on. Ghosts don't exist. Do they? Because if they do, all I can think about is that damn tree now. All right. Uh, oh, ah, right. The tree. Does that mean it's haunted? It It could be, yeah. <coughs> Smoking will do that to you. Yep. Don't get how you can be so calm about this. I once asked on Twitter, I was just like, genuinely... If you're if you believe in ghosts, why are they scary? Like I I don't understand. 
And they, it was all like, all the answers that were interesting were like philosophical, like, like, oh, it's, it's, it's scary implications for like the afterlife. I'm like, but like, why would you be scared to see one or like be chased by one physically? And no one had an answer. Cause it's a ghost. Sounds like racism to me. Oh. Uh, well, why wouldn't I be? I mean, there have been all sorts of customers here. Ghosts, beings without skin. Ghosts have skin, usually. <laughs> Some of them are so out of this world, even. Sometimes literally. You're right. I guess you're not the one who's being weird here. Don't say that. <laughs> Everyone has their own pedicolos? I don't know Pe that word. Pe Peccadillos? Also, Yam, have you said anything in the last, like... No, I was I was on mute. I'm good. Okay. I'm watching. I do not know how to say that word. I think it's just peccadillos. Hmm. True that. Ain't them those little roly fellas that live in the desert? <laughs> I love peccadillos. Uh, if you don't Put mind my telling burger. me... If you don't mind telling me, though, may I? I'm Boomumo. Boomumo's just me, Brendan Blaber. <laughs> <laughs> may I ask the reason you're so afraid of ghosts? Gosh, no. That's a long story. Not something I'm ready to talk about, anyway. That's understandable. No, it isn't. All you need to know is my fear was never caused by actual ghosts. Oh? Suggestion is a very powerful thing, Bumumo. But that's all I'm willing to share. For now. I've seen it. Okay. I've seen it! Thanks for sharing. You know, it's funny. My grandpa was very into this stuff. You know, he came by to visit, which is funny, because I thought he died and he was all floating, but we had a grand old time. Georgie, bro, that's a ghost. No. No. So is my daughter. A ghost? No, well, uh-oh. They're like my opposites. Very curious and fascinated by the unknown. Not that I'm not, mind you. It's just with my time as a cop and all, unknown variables usually mean trouble. I see. That makes sense. They're the kind of people who could see things from nothing. And I mean that in the best way possible. Like, you know the Zen Rock Garden thing from Japan? They understand the Zen-ness of it. I don't. But that doesn't stop me from thinking it's chill, you know? Okay, I got it. Sorry. We gotta keep addressing this. Stop stop doing the Yam and Oz and Lenti are the same people bit. We, we've we made this directly clear so many times. All of them hate it. Like, not as a yeah. They hate it. Yeah, stop and we hate it too, so stop. stop doing it. I th I think from now on it has to be a bannable offense. Do not yeah. do it again. Yep. Like, I know not everyone watches all of our streams and, like, they might not know, but, like, don't do it again. <laughs> It's, it's like a two-year-old joke at this point. All right. Mm hmm I think he almost got it. Yeah? But I'm sure he and my daughter could talk about it for hours. Too bad he passed away before she was born. I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, don't be. On that note, but move out. You've seen my lighter, right? That's right! He still hasn't got his fucking lighter! Say, I'm pretty well acquainted with it now, yeah? <laughs> my bad. Bro, do I need to staple it to your forehead before you walk out of here? That thing was originally my grandpa's. He bought it sometime after the war ended. It was to commemorate the upcoming new era, he said. In more ways than one. He got honorably discharged due to a severe leg injury he'd never be, be able to recover from. You see, his leg turned into a tree and he planted it over that. <gasps> Wait a minute! Ah. Yeah, he, he floats now. Because uh, he's a time, ghost. <laughs> <laughs> at the time, he was living right across the street from the former town hall. For obvious reasons, he couldn't walk far. So it was a good location for him with all the veteran support nearby and all. Right. Now... About that street. You see, my grandpa liked to chat. 
Never liked being alone, that guy. Plus, he pretty much hated his bleak room. So sometimes, he'd go and hang out with the street vendors in front of his place. There were all kinds of beings there, along with their pets from all walks of life. That's why he had a lot of stories about the craziest things. Hmm, I see. You see, the street's name just came to my mind last night. Can you take a guess what it is? You mean... Bourne Street, uh-huh. It wasn't called that before. That's why the whole thing didn't click for me straight away. But I went through his files, and it checks out. Does that mean the vendors he was talking about? Bingo. And you know what? He bought the lighter there. Mm, what a coincidence. Are you sure it's only a coincidence? No, man. It's a ghost. I think it's pretty obvious this is ghost shit. I don't know why you're freaking out about it. Just put a sign that says, don't park <laughs> here. There's ghosts. <laughs> what do you mean? Come on. Ain't no way there's just coincidences, Boomo. Boomo. Everything is lining up too perfectly, if you ask me. Huh? Bees? Uh-oh. Think about what's happened so far. It was my team that found out about the vandalism before they dumped the whole case on me. Then my car was hit out of everyone's. Right. Then my luck started tanking. The broken mug, the fan, the black cat. Just tons of weird stuff happening in the past week alone, you see. You know, no offense, Georgie, but you really seem like the kind of person who would believe in ghosts <laughs> the way you're talking. Right. Then one thing led to another. My team was chosen to lead the investigation. And tell me, who's in charge of the case? Me. Then there's the Banshee Lady, your patron, with some information I wouldn't have thought of. The dead tree stuff, the fairy market, information I wouldn't even have remembered on my own. Right. And now, we know why I kept on losing my lighter, right? How are they not connected? Tell me! Well... If you list them all in order like that, uh... I'm telling you, Bumumo, that place is calling for me. The case is made for me. This hole was made for me. <laughs> <laughs> but they really picked the wrong guy. I'm just real bad at dealing with spooks. They make me question everything I've ever known, you know? But... I've always thought you were pretty good at handling ambiguity, officer. Not when it comes to supernatural stuff. Because we don't know enough about what's real and what's not. What will they do? Will they hurt us? Do they bring bad luck? Good luck? What's the truth? Who knows? All those, all those cases of people being hurt by ghosts, they're real scary. Oh Never shit, they ain't, there ain't a single one? <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> oh my I, god. I... Sorry, I just find this ghost thing so weird in this setting where there is a character. Am I great? Banshees are ghosts, right? I think they are. Like, I, I'm pretty sure they are. They've got their own flavor. Like, they're, they're kind of in, like, the the Dullahan. Do you mean Banshee facts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. So, Banshees are, uh, they're borderline, I would personally categorize Banshees as fae. They are the good folk because they are directly related to Irish mythology. And the thing about Banshees is that they are actually like, there there are specific families that have Banshees tied to them. So they're not just wandering. They're, they're spirits that are directly tied to like a family lineage. And like, there's an actual list of names throughout like Ireland that are said to have their own Banshees. And the thing with them is that they're actually like, Obviously, since like ghosts and shit aren't fucking real, it's it's a variant. It's like a cultural variant of what is called a keening woman, which is just some lady that you pay to come and cry at your house when someone dies. Oh, very Irish. <laughs> it's very Irish, but they're considered they are considered of the good folk because they exist when like you know in between transient times and in between like the ley lines and they follow like the the ley roads and stuff and they will show up the day before or after or like the week of someone's death. 
So, Fair. and they're they're also often depicted as down near like rivers and streams near uh, people washing clothes and, and such like that. Fair so enough, but associated. seeing. I often see banshees depicted as ghosts in modern. Yes, and, and that is fine too because they're like transparent sort of look, but like they're just supposed to be weird, ethereal, screaming women. I I think I think it's kind of like calling the Grim Reaper a ghost. Yes, where it's like kind of, but not really. Riona Riona looks like a ghost. She's she's a ghost. <laughs> like. <laughs> We, I, I nice think everything go. you just said is right. I'm not sure if the people who made this game know those things. No, they don't. No, no, they do not. Sorry. Huh? What's that? No, nothing. You know, another patron of mine suggested a documentary to watch. Yeah? The focus was on interesting drinks from around the world. You could find everything from the mundane to the extreme, from local comforts to really special stuff. And I kept thinking one particular drink might interest you. Oh? Here you go. Hands him an empty mug with this fucking lighter in it. <laughs> it's something like a protection drink. It's made of coffee, honey, lemon, and a slew of other ingredients that aren't in the game. Huh. Protection from what, though? From evil spirits and bad luck, I think. Maybe it'll help ease your mind a bit. Ah, gotcha. But, but Mumo, even if the whole situation is, uh, haunted, there shouldn't be any evil spirits. Right? I wouldn't know. But <laughs> I might need your lighter. What for? Well, the drink needs to be lit up. I just think your lighter might give it that extra magic boost it needs. Compared to using a regular flame, I mean. <laughs> what are you going to make me, anyway? <laughs> Fucking lights up, um... Oh no, I for I can't make my joke. What's the what's the drug that people like light up with a spoon in bathrooms? You're talking about heroin? Is it heroin? I genuinely don't, I don't know. know. It's heroin. It's heroin, okay. <laughs> Oz comes in with the same level of vigor of heroin facts as he did with Banshee facts. Listen, I know two things in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I trust you. I know about banshees and the stuff that allows me to see them. <laughs> Here. Okay, then make me this magical drink you've learned, Bamumo. Am I crazy? I feel like they just started using this bowl. Yeah, they've never used bowl before. How odd. Okay. Uh, coffee, honey, lemon? Is that it? Yep, coffee, honey, lemon, and then, uh, lighter. Oh, can you reach the drawer now and mm, use it? No, you, you put oh, it next okay. to them after you make the drink. Which oh, is a I smart see. decision, that way you can fuck up the drink multiple- Whoa, that looks Whoa. awesome! Whoa! Yo, that looks fucking amazing! <laughs> I, hang on, I have to write this down for something. Uh, and I won't be able to see my own game title, so can, uh, Yam, can you tell me how that's spelled? Q-U-E-I-M-A-D-A. -E okay, K-Mada, all right. I assume we use this, so. Yeah. All right, and here's your uh, cold drink. Here you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> the drink does light up, huh? Yep. This is special just for you. Hang on. Uh, I don't... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you drink it? <laughs> Through your nose, you freak. <laughs> You're a freak. Just look at it. <laughs> so don't tell anybody. Roger that. Here you go. Ooh, careful. Dang, but Mumo, this is really something else. You sure it's okay to drink? I have no idea, but I'll take responsibility if anything happens. <laughs> I'm just being silly, aren't I? Sorry for bothering you with all this stuff, Mumo. 
He even made me this crazy drink to make me feel better. I don't say that. I'm always happy to help however I can. This is a really unfair comparison, because it's not nearly this bad, but it does make me think of it. The... Like, having this universe with so many different humanoid fantasy creatures and then being like, but ghosts aren't real, is very, like, Ruby, where it's like, uh, magic! Yeah. Magic I... couldn't possibly exist! It's like, um, checks my notes. <laughs> Wait, what's the difference between semblance and magic? Uh, Boody. shut up! <laughs> Booty pee 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 pee! <laughs> yeah, thanks. Man, at least with... At least with crooks, you can actually deal directly with them, you know? Not the case with apparitions. Apparitions. Not with that attitude. Huh? What? Who is this? Unlock the co Oh, maybe Detective there is- Detective- Is there a new character? Wait, Oz, get back in here. There is one new character, apparently. Chat line. Oh, hey, what? Who are you? Just a guy. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I get to play Tom Laughlin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, what, did this guy just fucking sidle on up like, hey? Yep. Yeah, he just manifested, yep, and no, apparently I, he's okay, a cool. detective. He, this looks like a tie-in character from some other game. It does. Yeah. This is fucking that dude from Evil Within, isn't it? Yeah. You gotta turn my fan off and getting too much buzz from it. Everything can be caught with a little elbow grease. Lean into your mic a little more. I dropped my straw and got whipped cream everywhere. Bumumo help me. God <laughs> Damn it. Sorry, I gotta clean this shit. Okay. <clears throat> Not actual elbow grease. I won't make that mistake again. Someone says yes. He's from the Dark Side Detective Games. Okay. That's funny. McQueen? Is that you? Hello, Williams. It's been a while. <laughs> it is you. Uh, the surprises just keep coming this week. Let me get over here. <laughs> Starts kissing. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> A little, a uh, little kiss for you. Sorry, was... I just a little kiss. You two know each other? More or less. Uh, we were brunch buddies. <laughs> Is that what they call it now? Is that brunch what they call buddies. It? <laughs> brunch buddies. I feel like I meant to say brunch buddies in that same serious tone, but I don't like to talk about it. I still get nightmares. I feel ya. I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. We were truly the lucky ones. Without a doubt. I'll just take both your words for it. Bumumo keeps glancing at the door like, can some other character come in? <laughs> Good. Because I don't like to talk about it. So, what brings you here, detective? Surely it's not the coffee. Hey, asshole. Secret police reasons. Uh, I'm not read the briefing yet, but enough about me. Tell me about your supernatural problems. Yeah? You need to bust a ghost. Oh, well, busting might be a bit much. I was just talking to Bumumo about getting over my fear of that stuff. And ghosts. Something like that. I'm weak against ghostly looking stuff. I get freaked out easily. For example, I admit I got a little spooked by what happened on Bourne Street the other day. I remember that. <laughs> Yeah, I know very well that unchecked fear leads to prejudice. That's why it's a no-no in my book. Uh, it even pains me to admit that out loud. Sometimes the toughest case to crack is ourselves. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, I see. I just drop weird one-liners and then do nothing. Other times, it's ghosts. <laughs> How do you do it, detective? I don't. Your, your cases, man. I don't. I'd have probably lost all my hair by now if I were you. I try not to think about it all that much. It's very, like, like immediately this guy shows up, I'm like, this is a character from a different series making a cameo. Not just because, like, this is how you would incorporate a cameo character with, like, an unlockable weirdo conversation, but because his design is so boring compared to everyone <laughs> else's. He's just a guy. <laughs> And when I do think about it, I think, who else will do it? Nobody. That's who. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, once you get over the dead part, they're just like you and me. Look, I remember this one case. We were investigating a haunted apartment. Oh, we're really Lady doing her this? her husband had recent- Huh? I, I just said, oh, we're really doing this, like- Yeah. <laughs> okay. This lady, her husband had recently passed away, but wasn't moving on, if you get my drift. 
Real deadbeat. Couldn't take a hint. Anyway, we had to go in and exercise the place, right? But the husband, he caught wind. He's retreated to the basement. I won't get into the technicalities of it, but it's harder to get a ghost out of a basement or an attic. It's all about angles, really. I mean, I get it. That used to be his home. All his stuff is still there. It's hard. I get that. So, I'm slowly going down the stairs, trying to coax him out. BAM! Next minute, all this romantic music's playing, the whole place is lit by a spotlight, basic sensory illusions, classic ghost tricks. <sighs> Yeah, someone literally a ghost detective, but ghosts aren't real. Yeah, I don't know about this. Yeah, this and is before weird. I knew what hit me, I'm sitting at this pottery wheel, and he's behind me. And wait, you're... isn't this the plot of the 1990 film Ghost? Oh, M maybe we we had a movie night at work, and I dozed off before it started. The story must have slipped into my subconscious. Riveting. Are you got guys... Oh, whoa. What? Yam, it's your time to shine. <laughs> hey, detective. He's <laughs> normal man three. Hey, people that don't know. Did you get your important errand sorted? I sure did. <laughs> Dooley, I can see crumbs stuck to your face. Uh, it's just the rain. It's very bready rain. There's filling all over your top. Uh, that's a uh, blood from a gunshot wound. It's healed up, though. You're literally holding the receipt from the donut shop. That's why they pay you in the big bucks, detective. So what I miss? Are we talking about getting rid of Officer Williams' fear of ghosts? Hey. Ghosts? Yeah, you're afraid of them, right, Dooley? No idea. I never met one. We stopped a ghost riot. Ghosts aren't real. Rook. <laughs> so you don't need to be scared of him. Easy. There you go, I guess. Sorry, that wasn't much help. Nah, what you said, that they're just like us, that's a good thing to be reminded of. Exactly, they used to be alive, just like us. So as long as you don't try to eat, slash possess, slash violently murder you, you, you should be fine. Very reassuring. Just talk to them. Feel their culture, listen to their issues, and spectral whales. Treat them like any other person. See what's on the inside. Which should be easy, since you can see through them. I thought you didn't believe in ghosts. It's best not to overthink anything he says. I certainly don't. <laughs> well, thanks for the advice. You know what, this game needed two more cops. I think it'll help. Uh, our pleasure. Now, Dooley, I think we should read that case briefing and find out why we're here. I already did. Oh? Turns out we were meant to arrest the person driving that taxi. Instead of... Instead of taking it all the way to Seattle, yes. Why? The driver was a chupacabra. Cabra! <sighs> okay, okay. Let's get out of here, Dooley. Good luck, officer. Thanks, McQueen. A lot. You too, Officer Dooley. Bye, guy. Good luck with your rat plug problem or whatever. Bye, coffee wizard. Take care. Hmm, well that did not sell me on whatever game th those guys were from. <laughs> that was quite something. Well, what do you know, Bumumo? Looks like my good luck is back. They're I gone. <laughs> I'm feeling like a million bucks now. In right. chat, choop a cabra. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks anyway, Bumo. I really did just I don't want to go through that again. <laughs> no. I really just I, have that, much. that that should have been like completely optional. Like, hey, by the way, none of this shit fucking I mean it matters. was optional. I just I think we got it by giving him the right drink and giving him the lighter. We you forget that we, there are branching dialogue options in this game. Yeah. We're just having chat feed us the right answers. You gonna be okay? Okay enough to start thinking about what to do next. <sighs> I'm done here for the night. You have a good evening, all right? Mm, please keep me updated, officer. And stay safe. Will do. 
feel that's one of the dips so far. I think it's likely that their dialogue was written by whoever writes their game, because it flowed very differently than everything in this game. Yeah. All right, then. Maybe I'll go check the stock and... Hmm? Yay! Hey! Miss Riona, welcome. Hello. How's the traffic out there? <laughs> it's a mess. There is construction work taking place on Leonora Avenue. Oof. Can imagine the gridlock already. Fortunately, I have no deliveries to make today. Well, that's great. Happy you're here. So, anything I can make for you this evening? I'd like something for my throat. I would appreciate a cup of tea infused with some lemon and a touch of honey. I... Again, like, I, I don't want to feel like I'm going in on this game too hard since we were just poking fun at that last sequence. I found the previous game was a lot better at getting more difficult in terms of the coffee orders as the game went on, where, like... You kind of had to remember what people ordered and be like, oh, like, it's very weird in this game that, like, that unlock with Georgie, he gave me the exact recipe verbatim. Like, yeah. the game told me. And that's strange, because I kind of, even though, like, I wasn't good at it, I kind of liked how in the previous game you sort of had to, like, remember or figure out on your own. Um, yeah, and, and then... I get the sense that there might have been people that complained that some of it was too cryptic. Or, you know, there was a lot of emphasis about the order of things as well. Um, so they probably just made it easier and figured they'd prioritize just getting to the conversations. But if that's the case. Why well, have the drink mechanic at all? Yeah. Okay. Baru. Aunt Baru. That doesn't seem right. Tea, lemon, and honey? I mean, yeah. Yep. Someone in chat says tea, lemon, honey. Well, did I do? Temple. Did I do it right? Was what I was asking. It's right. Okay. I yep. figured this would be cough syrup, considering she wanted something for her throat. All right. Maybe I'm the goober, and in which case they probably got QA feedback that was, I gave her cough syrup and it was wrong, which is weird since she wanted something for her throat. Ah, oh, cough syrup is with green tea. A cup of warm midsummer night's dream for you, miss. That's what we call it here. How whimsical. Stop talking to me. It's wonderful. Sweet, but well balanced with the lemon. And the slight bitterness of the tea completes the taste. Thank you. You're so very welcome. Oh, by the way, you just missed Officer Georgie by a few seconds. That's fine. How is he? He's been thinking about what you said quite a bit, actually. Oh? He's currently dealing with plenty of clues he isn't used to. That's why he's hard at work at the moment. I see. Would you mind doing me a favor? Huh? What do you need? Could you give my contact information to him? I need to let him know there will soon be a death in his family. We only connected oh. via Bluetooth last time, so... Oh? Oh, shit. What, what, what was her last name? Can I... Nope. Ruined. Alright. What I said a few days ago may have been a bit overwhelming. It is possible that I spoke more than was necessary. Sheeran? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, because I couldn't... She's so Irish. She's so Irish. <laughs> Fiona is, Sharon. Is it too late? <laughs> is it too late to fix it's things? It's never too late. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Oh, because I couldn't help but feel a pang of bitterness knowing what happened to the tree. You know who would voice her is I don't know I don't know her last name, Lisa something or other. Blue Diamond in Steven Universe and the mom in Song of the Sea. She's she's very Irish and also all her characters are blue. <laughs> <laughs> That's entirely understandable, though. But it is not my intention to interfere with his work. As such, if he requires any assistance, please do let me know. It is the least I could do, as I realize there would be plenty of difficulty obtaining information. Oh, I mean because Officer Georgie is a human. Lisa Hannigan, that's her name, thank you. McGilded voice, yeah, it's the same one, no difference whatsoever. <laughs> 
And we semi-physical beings have our own way of sharing information as such. I, I understand what you mean. Okay. I just do not wish to incriminate anything or anyone. That's fine, I get it. I'm glad. Chad. That's Scottish, Chad. You can't do this. <laughs> I'd there say... is only one Irish voice? Wrong. <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> Fucking, um... Philip Sacramento has entered the chat. <laughs> I'd say you've already helped him out in more ways than one. Hmm? Sorry, did you say something? I was zoning out a little. Uh, no, nothing. I'll pass this off to him. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bad traffic aside... Hey, Jello, is your mic doing something? It's... I hope not. I'm hearing a weird clicking. Yeah, I'm hearing that too. Yeah. Oh. Well. Can you unplug and replug it? No. <laughs> that will. Yeah, Bulnasaur. I can re-enter the call. That's. About... I think it is because Chad isn't hearing it. Whoa. Say words. Uh, words, words. Okay. I'm gonna change the server, too. That doesn't want me to. Discord Rad. said no. Whoa. Oh, I'm allowed to change it to U.S. East, but U.S. West is off the table. All right, whatever. West side. Not allowed to go to Seattle. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're gonna have a rough time with this game, then. <laughs> oh, well, the, the bar, the, the cafe is just floating. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm... To be honest, I've had a lot on my mind of late, and I don't know how to express it without sounding pathetic. You know I'm all ears. Hee hee hee. That may actually be part of the problem, I am afraid. Pardon? You know, I've held conversations with more individuals over the past week than I have in the past few years. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's troubling. Oh, I'm sorry. This is like the most off-kilter I've ever seen Boo Moo Mo this whole night. He's just like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> sorry about that. I didn't mean it necessarily in a negative way. It's just, I used to believe that I had settled life. What? Wait, I completely misread that. Oh, I had A. Okay, missed the article. Can you tell it's way harder for me to swap voices when I also have to add Irish onto this voice swap? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. I died. It's just, I used to believe that I had a settled life objective, but I've been doubting it lately. How come? I finally heard back from Miss Rachel yesterday. Ooh, any good news? No. Our fields are admittedly quite different, so I was not expecting much. However, she provided me with some contacts who may be of assistance, even though they have no direct connection to the audience I am trying to reach. I see. She explained clearly why she thinks I should contact them, however, which I am thankful for. That's very thoughtful of her. So, what's the battle plan? And why are you downing yourself? In essence, the advice is to slowly increase my network, to make myself better known. Oh? Sounds familiar, doesn't it? You can probably guess my concern about it. I think so, but you could give me a refresher, just so I don't misunderstand. I feel like that would be a shortcut, so to speak. Right. She did, however, remind me of an important and humbling fact. What would that be? Well, oh, but it's not guaranteed you'll get anything out of it, don't you think? Unless you're really, really sure the so-called shortcut is 100% gonna work. Oh my god, this is more than I thought. Because you'll know you'll have to do way, way more than just making a few calls and waiting for callbacks, you know? I'd say that's a decent impression of her. Thank you. After that, she told me a story about her early career experiences, both the good and the bad. <laughs> I just remember that fucking... Whenever we do accents, I occasionally... I have to have, like, a running track. 
in the back mm-hmm. of my head, like playing mm-hmm. something so I can keep it in muscle memory. And for me, it's that video of the dude who does like like characters from popular media as like an old Irish grandfather. Yes. <laughs> it's just <laughs> back in my like it's just Ash Ketchum. <laughs> back in my day, we we had a that, that's the way it was. We got a Pokemon when we were ten, and we we were off. And there was a man in town named Professor Oak, and he was Protestant, but he was a very, very nice man. He was a Protestant, but he was a very nice man. (laughs) That's so funny. That's so fucking accurate. It's really accurate. (laughs) Now he was a Protestant, but he was a nice man. Oh my god. Getting noticed is truly only the beginning. Then it's either a matter of letting your talent speak for you, or you go out there to develop connections with the right people. Even then, there's no guarantee of success. Hmm. After listening to her explanation, I respect Miss Rachel's determination. I can certainly see how it worked out for her. But then I was left wondering whether Mr. Lucas meant something similar during our first meeting. Right. I thought it all sounded familiar. Will you try your suggestion then? No. I don't know. Is it difficult? No more difficult than sending reels to every audition I've come across, and being rejected by every single one. But for some reason I feel... I feel conflicted about it. Speaking of Mr. Lucas, he and I have also continued our correspondence. Although, perhaps it was more like a necessity? Uh, did something happen? He was... stuck. Pardon? (laughs) Oh, sorry, you said stock. I'm an American. (laughs) (laughs) Actually, he posted about it on social media last night. Oh? Uh, I might have seen it. It's the best excuse I'm going to get to look at my phone. Oh, yeah, okay. Very Irish. (laughs) Oh! (laughs) Did you? Would you? (laughs) I came across it when I was updating my schedule and responded out of concern. Oh, and she was like, are you lost? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he went out drinking. Yeah. yeah. Then he called me almost immediately. He was loud. It all sounds in order. And extremely drunk. Really? He denied it at first, but it was too obvious not to notice. He told me he was walking aimlessly deep in thought, and entered Kerry Park without realizing he'd done so. Must have been some deep thinking he was doing, because I think it rained pretty hard last night. Well, I wouldn't know. The bus to and from there is currently not operating after 10pm, which is why I sent him a message informing him of that fact, as he seemed to be unaware of it. Right. So he called me to ask if there was any other mode of public transit nearby. Wouldn't it have been easier for him just to call a cab he told me he wanted to know the city better at midnight why not after all you operate your business after dark yourself touche perhaps he just didn't want to go home yet and i might be mistaken here but oh that's the wrong character and i might be mistaken here but i thought he doesn't like drinking wasn't it partying nevertheless i think last night was quite different It appears he had dinner with his team, and he needed the extra courage in order to negotiate with them about his proposed new direction. Oh. I suppose it didn't go as expected. Perhaps. And I know that feeling all too well. Yes. However, he said he'll keep negotiating until they reach a compromise. That's good. Is it, though? What if I kill him? Would that be fucking funny? (laughs) Getting rid of this. Miss Rachel told me about the hoops she had to jump through at the beginning of her career with her teammates as well. Likewise, Mr. Lucas has had to work hard to obtain approval from his team for his actions. I just... How can they still be so positive? What do you mean? I just cannot picture myself convincing others to give me a chance like that. I almost wanted to ask, why do we have to be at the mercy of others in order to succeed or fail? Can't talent speak for itself? 
But if I truly believe that, with the number of rejections I've received so far, I should have stopped a long time ago, shouldn't I? Right. That's why it doesn't work that way. What do you mean? To let talent speak for itself, we would all have to have the same standards. I see what you mean. Art would cease to be art if it were standardized, wouldn't it? However, doesn't that imply that everything still depends on the whims of the individual judging you at that moment? How does someone like Miss Rachel or Mr. Lucas manage to be fine with that? Hmm. Perhaps because they don't see it as the be-all and end-all. What do you mean? Rather than viewing them as judges with the authority to determine their fates, perhaps they simply see them as hills to either overcome or avoid, if that makes sense. It's just a matter of perspective as to where the power lies. But it's not easy to climb those hills, especially if you've never done it before. Therefore, it's good to try and find out what works for you, or ask for guidance, or assistance even. Because one can't possibly know every single way to overcome obstacles, or be able to safely recognize warning signs without first learning about them from others. Is that what you're trying to say? Still. Miss Riona? Uh, yes? Sorry, I got a bit lost in my thoughts. You're fine, I promise. But speaking of Mr. Lucas, what happened to him after the call? I killed him. I picked him up and drove him home. <laughs> Whoa. But I thought you were located in Bellevue. That's where Aram lived. <laughs> oh. I am. But I still had unfinished business in the downtown area. Had to get over to the street and slash Georgie's cars. There's tires. <laughs> I had to slash the whole fucking car. <laughs> slashed it There's a kaiju! <laughs> slashed it in twain, I did. Moreover, he suddenly began singing quite loudly near the end of our Betwixt call. Betwixt me close. <laughs> Which led me to conclude that it would be best for me to go and fetch him. I see. How is his singing, in your opinion? Uh, um, it wasn't too bad. If not for the fact he was screaming most of the lyrics, that is. Welp. His hoodie was soaked when I arrived, so he had to take it off before getting into my car. Thankfully, the water did not completely soak through to his shirt, so he remained relatively dry. However, I still had to lay down the seat covers as his fur got rather wet. Ah. Uh, hope he didn't get sick then. Hmm. <laughs> no, no comment. God. Aside from all that, was he okay? Considering the situation you mentioned earlier, I mean. Hmm. Well, he happily asked me to do karaoke with him, which I declined. Probably for the best. Could've... I'd... I'd kill people. Could have been entertaining, though. I ended up taking him for a drive, though, as I needed to take care of my unfinished business. Late night delivery? No, I was buying a pie. At midnight? Yes. Why, concern you may have a competitor? No, not at all. Maybe a little bit. Ah, oh, Bumumu. That's a funny little name to say in this accent. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. I just, I sort of want to know just so I could inform Officer Georgie about it. Oh? Why? His daughter loves pies. When his car was vandalized, Officer Georgie had plans to buy pies for his family's get-together. But the report took a while and the weather was bad. And by the time he was able to get a taxi, he thought everything was already closed. I see. But he takes pride in being a Seattleite, so I wonder if he knows about it already. Well, it is a very small kiosk attached to a pub. Very easy to miss. The spot is known as Disco Pie, and it serves fresh pies until 1am. Interesting. Good to know. Thanks. Uh, getting back to the story, though. You both went for pies, then. Yes, and that seemed to fascinate him for some reason. What did you each get? He ordered a slice... Cake? Cake. <laughs> <laughs> he ordered a slice of warm apple crumble with a scoop of French vanilla ice cream on top. That's the best pie. Yeah, that's good. And a large cup of pie... <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear he was eating some food, I guess. 
and yeah. a large cup of piping hot coffee, capitalized, with a little bit of milk, capitalized. Ouch. These are ingredients. I guess we're supposed to remember these to serve it to him later. I feel betrayed. Truly. Oh. But it was my suggestion, since I thought he needed to warm up. Double ouch. I apologize. I'll live. A little piece of advice, though. A glass of warm water might be better for the inebriated. Coffee's not the best at retaining fluids and thus preventing hangovers. Oh, that's really good information to know. You might not realize this, but I'm a party animal. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you're the best barista, Vumumo. Thank you. Okay, my... F okay. My feelings are hurt slightly less now. And what'd you get for yourself? I had a slice of hibiscus blueberry mint pie myself. That sounds just like such a jello food. <laughs> and just so you know, I did not order anything to drink. Good. <laughs> Drinks aside, what an interesting combination for a pie. How'd you like it? I enjoyed it. You serve hibiscus here too, don't you? I'll remember to order it next time. Please do. And so we continued our conversation afterwards. Hang on, I'm gonna save the game. Okay. And that was when he told me he'd not yet given up on his goal, despite the many disappointments with his team. He also told me why he doesn't drive at all. Really? Why? Uh, it is... Uh... On second thought, it may be better to hear the story directly from him another time. I apologize. No problem, I understand. We also discussed quite a few things we have in common. Really? Yes, surprisingly. And before we knew it, it was already nearing 5am. That's like the best kind of date, to be honest, when it's like, oops, it's 5 in the morning. We've been hanging out too long, but I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Must have been a gripping conversation. I am not sure. However, his exhaustion seemed to finally catch up with him then, so I drove him home. Weren't you tired as well? No. Oh no, I sucked out his soul. I should go now. Alright. Will you be okay? I'm... I have a lot to think about. Thank you for being patient with my concerns, Bumumu. No problem at all. Anytime. Oh, she got a little crush. <laughs> I'm sorry, who is she even talking about? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, uh, there's like a little satyr boy, if you mean Aww. Lucas. Um, have a good evening. Oh, that's Riona. Jesus Christ. Have a good evening then, Boo Moo Moo. Come back again soon. Jello tries every drink from Coffee Talk and describes it in the wildest way possible. That actually sounds fun that as sounds hell. That sounds pretty good. But I don't, I don't have the means to brew coffee because I don't drink coffee. But you're Bumumo. You just buy a coffee maker and then give it to someone after. Raccoon City has fallen. Okay. <laughs> you would also need an espresso and latte machine. That's true. This is this is a funny combo of headlines. At least it's pretty. I I just love alien invasion, algae, algae invasion. invasion. Hopefully, I will not be talking so much this time. If Riona comes back again, okay, she won't be here today. But if she comes back again, then. Oz, oh, he's a her. cutie! I like Lucas a lot. Oh, he's a little cutie patootie. He's like an influencer, though. So. Uh -huh. No, that's the one other character I voice! <laughs> no! Oh, Bailey's! Hey, uh. Am I, am I ignoring Look at me? me? Knock, Hello. knock, anyone there? <laughs> Aww. Do you, do you want to take Bailey's? No! <laughs> Mr. Bailey's, hi! <laughs> Did you want me to? It, it It's up to you, I feel bad. I'm sorry, uh, uh, that's you. I'm Boom Boom. I'm Boom Boom now! No! I'm sorry, I didn't hear you come in. How are you tonight? I'm alright. But you look pretty distracted. A penny for your thoughts? 
His fucking man hands. I'm not over them. Oh, oh, whoa. Uh, you can have He's an elf with the hands of a dwarf. Well, it's because he gave up his immortality to... Oh, it's true. So his... Holy transformation, it's beginning. Oh! I'm turning more and more into a human man. Oh! I'm going to grow a beard, Boo Moo Moo. I can't. Am I am I crazy? His shirt really looks like Yu-Gi-Oh! memorabilia to me. It's memorabilia. Yeah. It's it's like an album cover, I think. Mm. Is he Scottish? Bailey's? I think he's just a guy. <laughs> I think he's just a guy. Okay. Oh. Oh. I was just pondering the <laughs> hidden side of things. What? How different the world is under the surface compared to what we think it is. What are you fucking talking about? Boom Boom was having a real one. Nothing and no one is nothing and no one is exactly what they appear to be. Jesus, I just wanted a coffee. <laughs> Dude, give me my fucking latte and let me go. Funny, I was having similar thoughts on my way here. I guess now that we spend so much time on social media, people believe we can be summed up in a picture or a sentence. But it's not like that. It's not easy to know someone. So I'm turning you up a little more. Ugh. 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 Even if that someone is yourself. Especially if that someone is yourself. <laughs> Sounds like we agree on this. We sure do. Will you make Give out with me? Give an Icelandic accent if you can do one. What the fuck? You're a kid. It's me, your cousin Oscar. I can't fucking no, do it. It's so I, weird. I can do an Icelandic accent, actually. But I I wouldn't. I don't think I could do an Icelandic accent with the flavor of, I'm Bailey. Yeah, no, it's oh. too much. Go too many flavors. Yeah. And it's been on my mind in the last past few the, the blah puts up I, days. I've never been able to find it again, but my go-to for the Iceland, like, uh, I, I don't know if it's Iceland specifically, um, but my go-to for Scandinavian accent is this old stand-up comedian. Who, there was this clip of him, and uh, I I've literally haven't been able to find it for like a decade, which pisses me off. But uh, it's like, it's really hard being human. Have you ever done something stupid and then thought about it for eight years? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm Boom Humo. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. We're failing. Does that have anything to do with your wedding to Miss Lua? Got it in one. Well, yeah, you never have anything else going on. <laughs> How are things on that front? Hmm. A few days ago, we decided to take some time apart to think. Mm, that sounds ominous. No, I, I don't mean it like that. It wasn't a breakup or even a break. <laughs> We've been through so much. There's no walking back on a relationship now. But sometimes you're so together that you lose sight of the big picture, you know? I think I see what you mean. So, we decided to give each other a bit of space. I sent her to visit I Neil. I went to see Neil. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> And, uh, figure out what we really want of our wedding. And more importantly, out of our marriage. I see. Have you made any progress on that front? No! She wants a rocket. Do you want the short version or the long version? I'm always here for the full story. Alright then, I'm gonna tell you everything. I, I need someone to vent to. I was born in a log cabin. Actually, it was more of an acorn, Kevin. I was born but in an I acorn. Think... Elves are very small. <laughs> we start small. We get bigger as we go. <laughs> but I think I should order first. Sure thing. What can I make you tonight? I'm not feeling fussy. Anything warm would do. So, anything, really. That makes sense. How about some herbal tea, then? Hibiscus, butterfly pea? Butterfly pea or hibiscus sounds great. With the uh, milk and honey, please. Before I can vent, I need a venti. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> she hates me, Bumumo! <laughs> you just see, like, a mouse sweeping up in the corner. <laughs> the fucking... It dies? The the ingredients are shifting. They hop. You guys see that? Like, if, look at the far left side as I bounce along the... Oh, uh, yeah, the... yeah, yeah, I see it. They They're dancing. Because it, it's because it's highlighting the one that you're on. Well, it shouldn't. Oh, yeah, it's highlighting the one you're on, but by doing that, it's also pushing the others over. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's making it slightly bigger as it's, well and shrinking the others. It's it's just I don't remember it doing that before. Like you can see the oh, four on the left you know are what? good, it's... and they, these two are fucked up. Yeah. All right. 
He feels like a you're a warm boy. Oh, a warm boy. Here you go. Warm Give him boy. the blue. Why are we giving him corn flowers? I mean, that doesn't look warm to me, but he said no, because it's cool. I think that's cute. That is cute. They're saying blue pea, milk, and honey. That is what we did, right? No, we did the. No. Uh, we did no. the. Check what the blue is. Okay. Uh oh, do I? Does it sir? Oh, oh! I didn't even realize you could turn it. Either is fine. Blue, not pink, says chat. Uh. Okay. That looks really good. What the fuck? Give that to the little mouse. This is about, this is a lesson about you being indecisive. Please give me that juice. Whoa. Beautiful. That's a nice little moon there. Let's find just, oh no. When the moon. What did you do? Is a moon. Made a mess. And, and the moon. moon. Is a moon. What are you trying to make, bud? Be nice to me. It's oh, okay. It's really, really hard. Oh, the stars! The stars make it. I can see. <laughs> yeah, it's a big, it's a big for. face eating snow. <laughs> Ow! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> At night. At night. This this mechanic's really cool, but it's very finicky. <laughs> I guarantee Have you ever done latte art in real life? I think it would be easier just by virtue, in the way that like, I think that. in the way that I think it takes a long time to learn how to draw on a tablet versus drawing with your hands. And frankly, drawing with your hands is easier because <laughs> the feedback is more immediate. I think that. I think I'm right, <laughs> I'd bet. Sure, bet. What the fuck is this? Here you go. Thanks, Boomumo. Oh, this is so nice. And it brings me way back. You know how I'm not really in touch with my family anymore? Yeah, man. You only have three bullet points, and I know all of them. Yes, I'm sorry about well, that. Well, I never told you about my second family. Oh. Don't be. I don't even miss them most of the time. In the end, they're just a random bunch of people. And we don't have very much in common. It's good that you've learned that about yourself, Mr. Baileys. I think so, too. There's just one person I miss, but I've been missing her a while now. Yeah. Someone who passed away, I'm guessing. Exactly. Spot on again, Boomumo. I used to have a very close relationship with my great-great-aunt. When I was little, my parents fought all the time. I still remember in my bones how that made me feel. I fear that one of them, or both of them, would walk away and abandon me. Do you think if a parent abandons their child in elven culture in this game, the child loses immortality? Because that would suck. That's fucked no. up. A bit ironic in hindsight, but then it was many years ago. Yes, it's quite normal for the little child to care about their parents. No matter who they are or how they behave. That's true. Chat. Boomumo is killing it, just like Bailey's did to that great aunt. <laughs> anyway, I spent almost all my evenings curled up into a ball in my room, trying not to listen to all the shouting. Except when my grand came to visit. Not that her being around prevented the fighting, mind you. Elven High Society is amazing at keeping up appearances, except in front of family. But she got how it made me feel. So she went out of her way to take the sting out of it. She would keep company and bring me a cup of herbal tea. With milk and honey in it. Drinking this now, with you, feels a lot like family again. Boomumo looks into his in his eyes. Great great grandnephew? It can't be. Uh -huh. Grand? <laughs> Sounds like she was a perceptive person. She truly was the best of them until she got sick i i'm so i fully read that as oh no how did mm -hmm. that happen <laughs> I, 
Oh no. How did that happen? I thought elves don't get sick. Ah, uh, see, well, that's part of elven disinformation. Elves don't get sick with your little run-of-the-mill colds. But they do get big, bad diseases like everyone else. And it's not uncommon for us to die from them. Except there's this assumption in elven society that if you live the right sort of life, you'll pass away peacefully in your bed. Oh, I hate that! So that's what families say most of the time when someone dies. Incidentally, that also means they need to pretend everything is fine until the very last moment. So that's what they did to my aunt. They basically shut her out during the last few weeks. Or shut her in. That... That sounds really awful. I did manage to visit her, and she put on a brave face, but it was clear she wasn't happy. But then she wasn't very happy before that either. At least she had you. Must have been a little consolation. But yes, I'm glad I was able to be with her. Ugh. I think I came very close to being trapped with those people. I'm pretty sure she would have hated that for me. A little part of me hopes she'd be proud of me right now. I'm certain she would be. Thanks, Bumumo. Here you are, letting me blab on again. <laughs> That's more than fine, but... Do you think growing up among conflict might explain why things are... Well, a, a bit difficult to work out sometimes between you and Lua. I definitely think that's part of it. In fact... Hello, it is me, Amanda! Oh, I was close. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I got it! <laughs> got it in one! Good evening. Who's Amanda? This that's is Amanda. Amanda. <laughs> okay. Hi, Bumumo. And, hi. I don't think we've ever met before. I'm Silver. Oh, did they get a new name? Yeah. Man, Hang this on, is... my cat's in the way. I can't read. This my kitty cat wants a drink. This really is the yam doesn't get to play stream, huh? It is okay. I am Elf, watching. Sit down. <laughs> I'm Freya. <laughs> nice to meet you. I know. It's all right. I will show up at the end and I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm guessing you're Amanda? We are. But you I... do not appear to be a hive. How did you... Lua told me she ran into you a week or so ago. Oh, the purple, uh, the nice earthling we met on our first night here. That is a satisfactory explanation. You get to live. And so are you her date? I'm a little more than that. Uh, I'm her fiance. Truly? Fiance is a successful outcome of dates with a 0.013%. Congratulations oh, on your excellent odds actualization. I was reading that poorly anyways. I, I've kind of been wondering what the chance is that like Silver fully transitions to human and ends up fulfilling his mission by literally just mating with Amanda. <laughs> and that's how Bumumo happens. I don't know. I don't think it's likely, but... Thank you. They... Now, Cafe Offspring, we are wishing for a drink. Cafe Offspring? How did you acquire that new title? Which, they're siblings. Guy, their whole fucking species is like an ant hive. It's not like, yeah, that's not the number one reason. That's a weird suggestion, is what I'm saying. I don't know, but I think it would be weird considering the game has been very explicit about All them right. thinking of each other as siblings. Okay. Stop looking at me like that with them big old eyes. <clears throat> All right, sounds like something I shouldn't prod too hard. Never mind me. You were about to order... Uh, you were about to order, Amanda. We were. And what we wish for is a memorable parting experience. Yeah, I suspected something like that. Last visit in a while, huh? That is accurate. Fuck, I... I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. I, I take it you've completed your research on Earth? Almost. We are quite satisfied with the outcomes of our mission. Interesting. It sounds like there's a story there. But first, tell me, what sort of experience are you after? We wish to have something we have never had before. This is gasoline. It's time to get creative, cool. then. Yes. Take care not to reuse any ingredient you have served us in the past. Okay, that's... See, that's... This is, like, way more difficult in terms of this memory game than everything else we've had in the past two days. Hibiscus milk cinnamon. 
I don't think Will is quiet. What the fuck is going on? Huh? I, I, I've been doing my best not to be moving around too much. Waiting for chat to feed me the answer. Hibiscus mouse uh, cinnamon? Okay. Yeah, I, I just said that. Sorry. <laughs> I was adjusting your volume while you were saying that, so my brain was off. Okay. Here you go. Hopefully this tastes new to you. Ew. It does. It is at least 56.941% different from anything else we have experienced. We are, as Earthings would express, delighted. According to our calculations, this is our 39,846th 39, new experience since arriving on Earth. Hello, Piff. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. That's the mouse. <laughs> That's uh, quite a lot. Perhaps. However, most of them were rather insignificant in nature. Oh. And what about this one? This one is in the 99th percentile of significance. Is that good or bad? That's good, Bailey's. <laughs> she means it's very significant. Right, Amanda? Very much so. We enjoyed this place and we will miss it. That's... <clears throat> Don't mind me getting a bit emotional here. Anyhow, I trust the agent gave you no more trouble. We killed him. Oh, he looks fucking horrified. No, he Jesus. looks like he's watching you feed a pet into a wood chipper. Oh, the no. screams, Bumumo. The screams. <laughs> I hear them at night, Bumumo. Ah, uh, that was uh, that one was quite close, actually. We had a little brush with the authorities, you see. Yeah, Lua mentioned that. He made her really angry. She was still seething when she came home that night. Yeah, Lu I think Lou is probably my least favorite character, but I do have to give her props for how she handled that. <laughs> mm. Please tell her I'm grateful for that. Well, that agent kept looking into things even after his second visit here. But that's where your help really came in handy, Bumumo. My help. Yes, the the car that you got off that car that you got off on the agent. We asked for help from an associate to run it through the mind uh, you call computer. Once the contents of the card had been unveiled, we analyzed the language of its communication, which is quite an interesting mix, if we may say so. It is roughly 60.092% syntax and 39.9077% mathematics. Huh. We then led to the poly, poly, lim, polynomial, polynomial. polynomial time attack on its encryption. Expressing the cif cipher text to- uh, The point oh. is, Amanda managed to get into the fire system. She obfuscated all mentions of any of us uh, or save beyond recognition. And some totally legitimate orders came in to send the agent to Europe on an urgent mission. Good fuck that guy. <laughs> Which should last more than long enough for him to forget all about us. Whew, that sounds incredible. Fuck that guy. Escaping bloodline. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it does sound thrilling. Ah, it was a very simple matter of applying hive knowledge. Be that as it may, that's great work, Amanda. We are pleased. Amanda is amazing. But let's not forget who got the card in the first place. You really helped us there, Boomumo. Thank you. I'm very glad to hear that. And very relieved. Yes, we have thought on it for a while, and... Oh, there's a good and bad story arc, huh? We have decided we do not care for that sort of excitement. Not if it makes our siblings so sad. You've really gotten the hang of emotions now, haven't you, Amanda? Thank you, Offspring. If that is the case, we are content. I misread that it is... If that is the case, we are all confetti. And I was like, oh, someone's seen the end of Haunting of Hill House. Yeah. <laughs> That means our mission is well and truly accomplished. Did you come here specifically to pick up Earthling emotions? No, we came here for the purpose of general Earthling research, but it appears to us now that emotions are one of its most interesting aspects. We will be submitting a, you call it, academic paper. We have learned that we are supposed to make them nigh unreadable. 
uncontrolled stimuli and reflexive neural patterns, deep level communication in hive versus non-hive species. Yeah, that sounds like an academic paper. <laughs> wow, that's how you know it's serious research. I don't even understand the title. Amanda always was the brains in the family, but that was But that wasn't your only mission though, Amanda, right? If you're leaving, does that mean? Yes, Pearl and I did go out on a date. Right, you're looking for love, aren't you? Oh! <laughs> oh! I am. I was. I think... I think I may have found it. Oh, wait, wasn't that the first date a really short time ago? Just a couple of days. But I've been waiting a while, and I really think this is it. When I took up this mission from the Hive, when I came to Earth, and during this entire process, when I changed and changed, what I was hoping was that someone would see me for who I am. And I really think she does. That's so great, but I I'm curious, doesn't being in a hive provide that experience of feeling seen? It does, and it does not. And in fact, we hope that it that is something our research might improve. The hive sees thoughts and desires, honestly but it is not able to communicate the reasons for those desires, the emotions, as it were. We do not dwell on those, nor will we start to do so in excess. But it seems to us now that they may be worth conveying, at least to some extent. Yes, what Amanda said is a part of it. I was very unaware of my emotions when I first came to Earth, and I was really bad at communicating them clearly to others. In some ways, I still am. It will always be harder for me to grasp them than for most people. But when I started to understand them, I was both fascinated and scared. Which is not an uncommon experience, I think. It's really not. It requires a good deal of courage to look at your emotions honestly. It certainly requires some time. And even more time to find someone who can look at them with you. Not get scared and take them as they are. Someone who can see you clearly and kindly. Hmm. It is a precious thing when that happens, huh? A rare and beautiful thing. You should get a divorce. Has that been your experience <laughs> with Lua? It definitely has. I almost forgot how much it mattered, too. I'm lucky that I have good friends who remind me of that. Oh, who? So does that Look, mean... Look, Mumo. <laughs> you and Lua found some answers. Oh, the heck with it. I can't hold my tongue any longer. I'm sorry to interrupt your goodbyes, you guys, but Bumumo, I'd like to officially invite you to a little surprise ceremony. Which will take place three days hence. Wow, that's some answers indeed. Yep. Taking a little time to think really cleared our heads. We'd gotten bogged down in the details and in our own insecurities, to be honest. So we decided to make it simple again. No fuss, no massive expense, nothing like that. Just us and our closest family members. Whether we get them a, when we they, 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 get it. I am very touched, <laughs> Mr. Bailey's. Ah, come on, Boomer You know you mean a lot to the two of us, as does this place. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm actually out of town in three days. Mm. Oh, that's that's fine. I actually got the date wrong. It's it's gonna be in two days. I just oh, realized it's an earlier flight than I expected. Oh, I, I, Speaking I, of which... I hate you, though. <laughs> I also have Hyde's invitation here. Wedding invitation? Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> well, Hyde and Gala's invitation, seeing how that's his obvious plus one. Would you give it to them when you see them? It would be an honor. Silver and Amanda, I don't have a card for you, but you're in the cafe family as well, so I'm sure Lua won't mind. Would you like to join us for the party? A uh, party? This is our first experience being invited to a party. It is 99.999% pleasant. Actually, this sounds really annoying at our wedding. <laughs> And point I'm gonna zero zero, you. And point zero zero one percent disappointing that we have to refuse. Yes, I truly appreciate the offer, Baileys, but sadly we are leaving Seattle tomorrow. Really? That's more sudden than I expected. Are you going back to space then, Amanda? Not yet. 
We are going on an adventure. Space, I am from New Jersey. I'm just a freak. <laughs> that sounds very exciting. It really is. Amanda and I are taking a trip through the country. We're going to solve ghost mysteries, Scooby-Doo style. <laughs> and maybe even a bit further if we got the time. We're basically going to be tourists. Tourist is such a fascinating concept. Although our sibling explained it to us multiple times, we still find it very hard to comprehend. We always thought that traveling must have a mission, a purpose. But it seems that tourism is traveling with no other purpose than traveling, which is in essence circular reasoning. <laughs> may, may well be, but it's still a lot of fun. In fact, I'd say it's the real purpose of tourism. To have fun, to relax, and to see beautiful things. To enjoy life, you know? Enjoyment as a purpose. That is new to us, but we are 99.999% excited to try it out. And so am I. I've never been out of Seattle since I arrived, but I guess I was afraid that I... Wait, what? No, didn't you go to England? Or New York or something at the end of the first game? Hmm. Hmm. This isn't the silver we know. <laughs> you got me, rips off a mask, it's the agent. <laughs> oh. I guess I was afraid I wouldn't be able to blend in. That I would have to start uh, restart everything from scratch. But knowing that you're here, Boo Moo Mo, that I always have a place to return to where I feel home, well, that makes me a lot less nervous. That's... I'm very happy to hear that. I think I should order a drink. Of course, what can I make you? I'd like it to reflect the spirit of our upcoming adventure. We will be driving. Please give me gasoline. Gasoline. I'm, al <laughs> I'm also in the mood for something sweet and soothing. So, sweet and soothing, but with an adventurous kick. Yes, that's exactly right. And how about some hot chocolate? Or something extra to make it fun. It's a firecracker. Oh, I'd Ooh. love that. Hot chocolate with some sweetness and spice would be amazing. Sounds like honey, Choc honey, chocolate, ginger. honey, ginger. Yeah, honey, ginger. I just that's very cute. I just Aww. feel like a lot of the mixes. I, I like that they they colored it so that the shading looks like a, an astronaut Little guy. Yeah. I just don't think a lot of these things would taste good together, I have to say. I missed. I missed. I missed. Oh, I said something. Who cares? Oh, we like this name. It is evocative and adventurous. Evocative? Yes. Is the speed of light not evocative of great adventures? The speed of Oh, wow. Way to target your audience, Pumumo. Why are you mad at me? <laughs> Thank you. But do you like the taste, Silver? Oh, no! Ew! I, I love it. This is exactly what I wanted. Nothing goes better with honey than chocolate. <laughs> it's got the spicy kick of ginger to start with, which keeps you on your toes. But then the honey makes it sweet and comfortable. Unlike chocolate, in fact... It reminds me of you, Amanda. That? How does the taste remind you of us? I guess he's saying that you're sweet, but with a strong character as well. That's about right. We do not entirely comprehend it, and yet, we are pleased. Well, it's settled then. Whenever you miss Amanda Silver, you can come here and I'll make you this drink. I'd like that. Thank you, Bumumo. Wow, careful there. You don't want to spill a drink you enjoy this much. Oh, you're right. I'm just so excited I can barely sit still. Rockets up into the air. I think that's the, the caffeine. <laughs> I can imagine. A first trip across the country is a big deal. It is, but that's not the only reason I'm excited. See, my teeth oh. are gold now. Okay, that was quite the dramatic pose. pose. I really want to know what you're going to say now. You guys seem to lead very interesting lives. Oh, not at all. I think I'm quite a boring person. 
with a secret society and an alien background. It's true that some of my life circumstances are a bit unusual, but this particular thing is very commonplace. I... <laughs> Our sibling is excited because his date will be joining us. And in fact, we must be fair and acknowledge that we may have misjudged her based on her lack of facial symmetry. Although Pearl's features are 9.231% different from left to right, we agree with her movie analysis 99.99%. What? Hold on. Amanda, you've met Pearl, and you talked about movies, and now she's joining you two on a holiday? How did any of that happen? We watched orc westerns all together <laughs> last night. <laughs> Pearl likes them a lot as well. You don't exactly sound thrilled. I... Fortunately, she also likes space travel operas. Ha, huh, I see. Learning couple compromises the hard way. I suppose so. What are orcs Italian in this world? <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. That she's met Amanda and that they got along. Can you imagine going on a first date with someone off of, like, Tinder and then them being like, yo, we're gonna drive cross country. Do you wanna join me and my spacesuit sibling? And saying yes. <laughs> After one date, yeah, that's kind of a bold strategy. It might also be a thing for her, like, I mean, if this pans out, we have a hell of a story. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't think they're being open about the alien thing right away. <laughs> Oh, well, let's find out. Does that mean she also knows where you're from, Silver? Okay, all right, no, that makes more sense, actually. She does. In fact, I told her about that on our first date. Wow, that's, that's very brave. I'm gonna be honest, I think, I think, I think that knowledge would actually endear a lot more women to him. Yes, <laughs> correct. It's very hard to put yourself out there and under any circumstances to reveal something so vulnerable to someone you've just met and are starting to like. It takes guts. Uh, you're very kind, but I don't think so. To be honest, I hadn't planned it that way. Although I have always felt safe here with all the regulars, I know that not everyone would be open-minded about me, and so I wasn't sure I'd say anything to Pearl that night. But as we were talking, I was so happy to learn more about her, about who she is, and I realized that I didn't want her to have an incomplete picture of me. My past is a part of me. If my goal is to find someone who sees me for who I am, then she needs to know about that, too. And in the end, that was the right decision. Hmm. Well, I will say that if she'd heard your story, and that changed how she viewed you, then she wouldn't have been worth your time anyway. That's... fair. But still, even knowing that, I admire you a lot. Kiss me. No. <laughs> the truth is... Wait, why? The truth is, and this is a bit of a strange thing to say, but I think I'm proud of who I've become. And I want the people I love to be proud of me, too. What is proud? Oh, you. <laughs> proud is... Mm. For yourself, I think it's when you start to be satisfied with what you're achieving, especially if you had to fight to get there. And for others, it's when you think of someone you care about, consider who they are and the way they're acting, and it just fills you with joy. Ah, we see. We do not we... feel that. <laughs> <laughs> that we are definitely proud of you. <gasps> I... <laughs> Umumo, this is awful. <laughs> you two are a really sweet family. And so are you and Miss Lou a bit, Mr. Bailey's. <laughs> True. Chosen families can also rock. Okay. Yes. When we met Pearl, we came to a conclusion. Kill. There is no difference in nature or expression between a family that you are born with and a family that you acquire by choice. Both demand work and understanding. There may be min minute differences in the specific process, but the bond appears to be 99.99% similar in the end. So it is. Well, we should probably get going. Yes, we must go pack. First time I see someone getting excited about that specific part. 
It fucking sucks. <laughs> what Amanda means, really means, is that I must pass. I'm so sad. While she she analyzes screams, Bumumo. Well, <laughs> he used to be Cherma Bumumo. <laughs> While she analyzes the earthling ritual of folding shirts, rolling up socks, and so on. Precisely. This is further information for our research. We are thrilled. Good luck, Silver. Indeed. Do enjoy your trip, both of you. I hope you'll get to tell us about it when you're back, Silver. I will. Good night to you two, then. Hasta la vista, strangers. <laughs> huh? Orc westerns. Ah, uh, bye to you too. What a bunch of freaks, am I right? It's never a dull moment in your cafe, Bumumo. I try. Speaking of which, uh, would you like to some hold some party or after party for your wedding here? I know it's not a very large space, but perhaps. Whether we like it. We'd love it! Honestly, I didn't want to impose, but there's no place that uh, could be a better fit. And I don't ma mind that it's not very large. It's gonna be a small, cozy wedding. So, this is perfect. It's settled, then. Oh, sorry, I was reading chat. Uh, Lou is going to be over the moon when I tell her. In fact, I'm going to go and tell her now! That's a very exciting prospect. Tio says something also. It really is. Thanks again, Boomumo. You're like a guardian angel for us. And on that note, I am off. Ch Chad. Moon! Moon! <laughs> More like a guardian hive mind. Good night, Mr. Bailey's. Sweet. I wonder if Yam will get to play. Yeah. Maybe. Raccoon City is still a disaster. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> A very determined hot air balloon. God, balloon fire wrong. sucks. Yeah, they did. They spelled balloon wrong. What are you doing? That's what Freya's newspaper is like. Yay! Oh, oh, thank, I heard thank the, God. I heard the squishes. <laughs> In chat, Boomumo, start of day. Oh, another yamless day. I say that every morning when I fucking wake up. Oh, buddy. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Get fucked, Aww. George! Get Aww. fucked, George! <laughs> Hello, Miss Aqua. God, it's so nice to have you am here. <laughs> Hello, I crawled out of the ocean. I'm back. How are you? Good as usual. How about you? Um, honestly, lots of things have happened. Can I order something first, though? I asked you a question, Aqua. <laughs> of course, what would you like? Um, can I? Oh, can you make me a cup of chai? You can make me a cup of chai. Why are you being mean to me? Tea Boo. double cinnamon, probably? Or tea ginger, tea ginger cinnamon? cinnamon. fancy cup of masala chai for the lady with eclectic tastes why did you say that <laughs> it's mean um, boom, boom, boom. can't get enough of that sugar she crisp. can't get enough of that sugar crisp even if boom, boom, boom. <laughs> not making the classic mistake of atm machine i see because <laughs> hmm? she said cup of chai not cup of chai tea ah okay. shaking oh. my head my head smh my head got it <laughs> Sorry, I just can't stand these fucking notifications. 
notifications. Die. Thank you, it's delicious. You're welcome. So, you were saying. Oh, right. It's just, I've been busy working on my game. Oh, I see. How's it going? It's pretty difficult, but I'll manage. I'm glad to hear that. How's that contract you talked about the other day going? Oh, that. I've rejected it, of course. Good. Oh, yeah. The contract was fucking psychotic. There's no saving it, really, which is a shame. I truly like their games, but with all the shady requirements they had, I could tell they looked down on us small developers. And the scary thing is, if, if I hadn't known what I know now, just, just because they were a publisher I loved a lot, I... I would have overlooked all that. That's understandable, though, Enable. You trusted them not to take advantage of you. Well, it has to be fair for both of us, right? Because at the end of the day, it's business. But I don't know. Yeah. Actually, I tried negotiating with them because I wondered if they still had any good faith left. Don't tell Myrtle, okay? <laughs> okay. I don't think she'd be mad about you negotiating with yeah, them. But, as I expected, it really didn't go anywhere. Instead, they insisted they're doing me a favor since I'm just a small developer. Gross. And I wasn't thinking rationally or in business terms. Ugh. Doesn't sound like good faith to me. Right? Considering the unfair conditions that are expecting me to accept, they could have at least been polite about it. I doubt they care, though. Yeah. That aside, Mortal is coming here soon. Great. So you two made up already? Yes. <laughs> we apologize to each other. Nice. Nice! Uh, I know I was probably doing a little... being a little confusing. You I were doing a little confusing. I was girl. doing a little co being conf... But I didn't explain the context I applied to the situation very well. But she made it clear that she understood why I was anxious. And she apologized for assuming. <laughs> that really helped. Now she's helping me speed up the development. I'm happy to hear that. What's up, idiot? Well, I just signed the contract. Hey. <laughs> you passed my test. <laughs> Hi, Myrtle. We were just talking about you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I think if I, I think out of the whole cast, she'd probably be the one I'd have a best, the best time hanging out with. To be mm -hmm. honest, she's so real. She, she's very cool. Yeah, nothing too terrible. I hope. Don't worry, only all the good stuff. <laughs> anyway, sorry, Bumumo. I won't be ordering today. Why? We don't have time. We're going to the expo sale, right? Oh, you're right. Expo sale. We need, we need dry erase new... markers. <laughs> We're hunting new parts for my PC. It's been a bit slow lately. Hope you have better luck than me, girl. <laughs> a bit? She's joking. It's pretty much in its death throes. If we're going, we're building you a whole new setup. What? If you just want parts, I can always give you mine. But at this point, I'm not sure it'll be any help at all, to be honest with you. Yeah... No, you're right. It's time to move forward with the productivity. I've been putting off upgrading things for a while now, so it really is time for a better setup. That's the spirit. Go big or go home. <laughs> Sorry, Bumumo. It seems like we have to go now. Thanks for the drink. I'll see you later. Yeah. Sorry, Yam. <laughs> yeah, take I'm care. Moving. Back to the ocean. Back to Yam Jail. <laughs> Let's see. I guess I'll go over to his checklist. Hmm? Damn, Boom Boom, we're not getting anything done today. Hello, it's another Jello character. Oh, good. I was too. worried Yam might get to talk. <laughs> well, hello, gentlemen. Uh oh. Hey, Boom Boom. Sorry, I just pulled my own headphones out. Oh, way to go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice seeing you here, Hendry. How goes that? Good, good, good. I see you're doing good too. As usual. 
<sighs> what do you want to drink, Henry? It's on me. No, oh, no, no, that won't do. It's oh my so goodness! Funny. Oh my goodness! <laughs> well, let's talk about bills later. So, what'll it be? You first. You sure? Okie dokie. <laughs> I love this potato of a man. I'll have one STMJ, please. I don't remember. How Isn't that what Jello got with his jaw? <laughs> I, I think you actually have this one recorded under your phone. I know, but I like to wait for I like to wait for chat. Milk, ginger, honey. And then the rare ingredient of egg. Ooh. That's how the egg comes out. I know, I hate it. Disgusting. One STMJ coming up. Arr. Oh, it smells so nice. Spot on. Thanks, Boomomo. You're very Did welcome. Did you just eat an egg? A raw egg? What the fuck? Scooch is it's over. Not, it's not raw. <laughs> it's not that much weirder than eggnog. Please garnish the top with chunks of shell. <laughs> How about you, <laughs> Cedric? Oh, it's my turn. Something with ginger, please. Anything else with that? Well, what would you recommend? Anything from your new tea line is anything from your new tea line is fine. Maybe oh. a little kiss? Ooh, I see you have a new selection. Yeah, it took me three years to get two new ingredients. <laughs> yeah, we have blue pea and hibiscus tea available. Hibiscus, huh? You should try Tejahi Rosella. It's pretty good for this kind of weather. Sounds familiar. It's ginger steeped with roselle buds. Another name for hibiscus. Anything else in it? I love doing this little old man in a pond voice. It's my favorite. <laughs> uh, isn't that what we gave Hyde? Yes, I believe so. Yeah, okay. Well, it's a bit sweet. Interesting. I'll try it then. Uh, Ted Jahi Rosella? That was his pronounce? I don't know, I'm just making shit up. I'm, you son of a bitch, I strangling him. I don't, <laughs> you, you, I don't even have a neck. <laughs> That's why it's so uh, hard. Neither do I. Hibiscus, ginger, honey, wedding invite. A oh, yeah. I definitely would have forgotten to give him the wedding invite since they asked to give it to Hyde. What's this? Why are you always giving me shit? <laughs> I don't want your garbage. <laughs> oh, it's Bailey's and Lua's wedding invitation. Really? For Hyde. Ah. Uh. The date is really soon. Could you pass it along to him since I'm not sure when he'll be here? Mm. Okay, sure. Thank you. A piping hot cup of Tejaje Rosella for you. Thanks. What do you think, Henry? I think I fucking got you. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Does it look any good? <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh-oh. It looks about right. It smells good, too. Try it. <laughs> yup. It's good. Oops, I forgot it's poisonous to werewolves. I'm glad I passed yeah. your impromptu test. <laughs> so, what's been going on? Did I miss anything? <laughs> so what's good, gamers? So what's good? Hello, gamers! Um, something happened, didn't it? <laughs> you could say that. I think the officer is coming too, by the way. Alright. As for me, I'm just glad my fury is over. Are you okay, though? I'm fine, as you could say. How are you managing, Henry? Did you get your checkup? I did, I did. Rachel pestered me to get it done all week, so I had to do it. Good. Well, there's no doubt I need to slow down. <laughs> oh, I can feel it in my bones. Time is a harsh mistress, as they say. Yeah, Will, can you lean into your mic a little more? So? I'm basically eating it. <laughs> all right. Sorry. You just you don't Cram sound as mic. full as usual. Right. Ain't that the truth? But I don't think you get to complain, though. Why not? You know my body isn't what it used to be anymore. Why would I 
know that. <laughs> oh? <laughs> I mean, compared to my prime, 50 years ago. I'm kidding. Truth is, my body doesn't hold up well on, well on, when I'm transforming anymore. Oh, is that so? Yep. The soreness doesn't go away as quick as it used to. It's harder to get up in the morning after that. Like today. <laughs> I know the feeling all too well, especially in this kind of weather. Oh? Oh, it's like my body knows if a storm's gonna get worse. I have, I have that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Fucking oxygen. Uh, Two people in chat just made the exact same fucking joke. Wow, yeah. <laughs> no weather forecast can match the accuracy of my joints. There are days when there's just like a really intense cold front coming and I just have a headache all fucking day. It's awful. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily for you, Ginger is great for sore muscles. Yeah. Whatever. Ding ding. Small, medium, large. Yeah. Hey, folks. The man of the hour. Hiya, Georgie. We're besties now. <laughs> uh, but Mumo, what did I miss? Some very important weather talk. Is that so? Sounds like I missed a ton then. How are you? <laughs> How am I? If you're talking about my case, well, I don't even know where to begin. Henry, you know nothing about... Sorry. You know nothing about... <laughs> Henry, you know nothing about what I'm about to say, right? No. What are we talking about? But Mumo, you should have primed him before I got here. My bad. In my defense, I didn't know you were coming until Mr. Gala mentioned it. Excuses, excuses. I'll help explain it to Henry. In short, there's been a string of car vandalisms nearby. What the fuck? Whoa. Second icon of fire. I live in those. So, he's trying to figure out if the tree being gone has anything to do with the case. And that's where we are now. Yep, that's about it. Yo, did you piss up some brownies? That's a lot to take in. Anything new happened since? Well, I tried something. Thought I might set the tree stump on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I set a few candles where the tree was. I used my lighter and things happened. Mind backing up a bit? Feels like there's a lot of context missing here. Well, I'm warning you. Everything I'm about to tell you is real. It'll sound like a crazy. It'll sound a little crazy, but no. <laughs> Yo, I lost this is about to sound like a crazy. The people. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna sound like a crazy, just a little bit. <laughs> Got it. Mm-hmm. I told Bamumo about my lighter a while ago, how it might be connected to the fairy market we talked about before. Really? In what way? Why didn't we cover this stuff when there was a blackout to catch Hendry up on things? Yeah, the lighter was my grandpa's, and there's a chance he bought it from there. Ah, interesting. Yeah, what a coincidence, eh? <laughs> <gasps> Fuck! Anyways, my daughter likes this sort of mystery stuff, right? After talking to her about what's been going on, she believed my lighter was the key to making sense of all this and gave me my, some pointers. So, I went back there last night to the spot, you know, to where the tree used to be. I lit a few candles there and put the lighter right in the middle of it all. I'll be honest, it was spooky as heck. The air was still and I felt tension in my head. Bro, you can do this during the daytime. No. No, it's gotta be cool wasn't sure if it was just me being creeped out or if there was something else going on. Whatever it was, I thought I should leave it alone. So I followed my gut and got the heck out of there. The and end. Nothing happened. <laughs> then what happened? It blew up. What? What do you mean, what? 
the lighter, it just blew up. Well, what do you mean blew up? Yeah, I, I think we definitely need more context here. Well, I didn't see it because I was walking towards my car. You see, cool guys don't look at explosions. So why weren't you looking at it? My wife hugged me this morning. <laughs> but I heard it. With a little whoosh, uh, followed by a couple of clink clinks. What kind of sound is that? You know, like something small and metallic blew up. Wouldn't bang work better? No, that's a shot. Wouldn't want to confuse y'all with that. But Pithar's... What is that? You know, Pithar. And then what happened? Right, okay. Dudes being dudes. <laughs> then I made to look back to see it had fallen over with its lid open. The flame, it was burning white. Wow. wow. Ain't gonna lie to y'all, I wow. freaked the frick out. Can't swear in the house. Got three girls. But before I could do anything, two small figures emerged from the corner, walking toward the lighter. Did they see you? Yeah, they did. They inspected my lighter while I was just standing there. Then they asked me straight up, Is this lighter your guy? I said, yeah. Then I fired a question back. Are you the ones who've been messing with cars around here lately? And they said yes. Well, sounds like case closed. So, they weren't ghosts? Hell no, thank God for that. Then who are they? Let's just say they were close friends of the deceased. They're part of the fairy folk, but I didn't expect them all. Expect them at all. Didn't expect... Do you know them? Kinda. In fact, uh, they own the gnome noms near my place. Oh, wow. Did they know it was your car then? Nope, because I only order takeout. And I usually walk there. What was the reason for all the vandalism then? laughs it all started because of a broken promise and we have to start way back for that why am I here for this <laughs> yeah what the fuck you remember why the tree was there in the first place right yeah the tragic hit and run at the time the court ruling practically let the driver off the hook outside of the DUI charge well it sparked a huge protest good in response to it, the mayor at the time gave his word to the victim's family. He promised to keep the tree as a landmark for the community. And the vow was kept well after his tenure was over. And he died a few years ago. And we all know recently what happened to that tree. Oh, I see. So, it was their attempt to keep the memory alive. Not just for their friend, but as a remembrance of the injustice as well. And after all the urban renewals the city's gone through, makes sense that the community that used to be there is gone by now. That's right. There used to be a lot of veteran housing and low-rise apartments in the area. Now it's filled with never-ending projects. You okay? Oh, yeah. Sorry. There's something about it. There's something about it bothers me a bit. Wait, yeah, what? There's something about it. I guess you could say, eh, there's something about it bothers me a uh, bit. Like, I, I think it's just a typo, but. Yeah. Like what? Their unique disposition after they pass. It bothers me that their own memories are insufficient to ensure their existence. And by failing to remember, we, the outside party, will also gradually lose track of their existence. It just doesn't feel right to me. I get what you mean. An odd erasure of existence. That's my JRPG title. But apparently, that's why they keep animals. The Gnome Noms owners told me they have a large mastiff living in their place. Others even take care of multiple animals at once. Interesting. I suppose that's why some folk prefer living near the wilderness. But animals don't live long either. Right. Like me. <laughs> but the erasure starts. I'm 14. But. 
<laughs> Rachel is too, but the eraser <laughs> starts half, which is crazy considering this game takes place three years after the first one. Oh my god, <laughs> that is a while. But the erasure starts happening if they're completely forgotten, right? Something like that, I guess. I'm not sure. Right, okay. But doesn't that normally happen anyway? How do we pay respects or remember someone who died a long time ago? Like our ancestors, for example. It's our call, isn't it? Hmm. Every April, Rachel and I would visit my wife's grave. We used to visit her grandparents' graves, too, when my wife was still alive. If our extended family was visiting, they'd join us. We'd clean their gravestones, bring food, and have a feast while catching up. It's how Neko Mimi's Arm of the Dead. And I'm sure other cultures have their own ways, too, right? I truly think continuing the tradition is something we do for ourselves, though. To remember the deceased and all the reasons they mattered to us. So, except for the weird erased memory part, it sounds on par to me, it's the effort of the living to remember the dead anyway. You're right. Unless you believe in life after death, memories are for us, not the dead. Exactly. It really is weird that ghosts don't exist. It would be great if we could all remember and help each other. Because keeping track of any sort of history is a team effort. Yup, leave it to me. Mm -hmm. Since the best way to gain wisdom is to learn from the past, whether it's bad or good. Yeah. Speaking of the Gnome Noms owners, though. Can I just say, it should be Nom Gnomes. Gnome Noms yeah. is harder to say. It doesn't flow nom as well. Noms. Yeah. But then Nom Gnomes is easier. What happens? It also sounds like you're eating the gnomes. Well, oh. we all have to make sacrifices. We all, listen, Seattle boys got to make do. Mm. <laughs> what happened to that? Oh, right. Did you arrest them? Nope. Huh? Are you going to let him go? I shot him. Not necessarily. But I got an idea on what I have to do. Right now, I'm just happy there's no ghosts involved. I just, why would you be afraid of ghosts in a universe where things that are essentially ghosts exist that can like phase out into existence? Yeah. All right. I don't know. Why are people afraid of dogs? Because they hurt you. And are real. Still, it was truly something else. Yeah, what a night it must have been. It is what it is. Hmm. What's up, big guy? Something on your mind? No, nothing. A shame about the lighter of yours, though. Oh, yeah, it's probably busted, right? That's the thing. It works just fine, not even a scratch. Really? But that thing blew up, didn't it? Like, pathar. <laughs> we even debated the sound effects and everything. As I said, still works fine. So, I don't know what else to tell you. I see. You want to know what I think? No. <laughs> it's haunted. What the hell? No, it's not. <laughs> that thing is definitely haunted. What are you talking? Oh, that thing is definitely haunted. What are you talking about? The white Henry's flame really funny. <laughs> the white flame is a bit unnatural, I agree. And I remember how you kept forgetting your lighter here. Hey now, a man is allowed to forget stuff as he gets older, no? As for the blowing up, it's probably a well-timed bad chemical reaction or something. Oh this thing God. is real low, Shame after all. <laughs> yeah. If that's the case, you might want to stop carrying it Three around. <laughs> I... God, I was over the moon that unprompted someone did, of all bits, the three newts The three bit. newts. Like that and the, I seen it! The fireball, I seen it! <laughs> I missed them. Uh, I mean, they, fuck, they just, they started doing um, another season that's like the good let's half Let's watch of their that show. after the hideous Natasha Leone. Sure, let's do that. <laughs> the 
<laughs> what if they just called the show that? That's what I did. No, I meant officially. What if- oh! <laughs> Ryan Johnson, too powerful. <laughs> At any rate, I believe you now, officer. There's no such thing as coincidence indeed. I still think it's a ghost, though. Shot it, Henry. Oh. Shush. Be nice to him. He's funny. In any case, mystery solved. For now, at least. What a weird plot line. Uh, oh, there's a phone here. Oh, <laughs> no, I think I have to go now. Didn't realize I missed multiple messages earlier because I was so engrossed in your really good story. Sorry <laughs> to rush off. I'll see you all again next time. Sure, safe trip. Nice seeing you again, Henry. <laughs> take, take care. It's a fucking ghost. <laughs> I still think it's a ghost. I think you're a, you're a boob for thinking it's not a ghost. Let me move over there. Sits on top of Georgie. I want a new toy. Uh, I want a bike. Uh. I was picturing you know, him balanced on his head. <laughs> you know, all that talking made me thirsty. You want anything? Nah, I'm good. Then one espresso for me, please. <laughs> oh, this comment. I wonder if Hendry will be a ghost in the next game. <laughs> Don't forget to give him the Riona's card. Oh, oh yeah. Baru. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Ba 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 bum. Coffee, ba, coffee, ba, coffee. Ba, 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 I made it out of coffee. <laughs> I made it out of bean. What is it? Looks at my phone and ignores him. What the hell is this? Oh, his girls, the pictures, it's so cute. <laughs> what the hell am I holding? I assume those are your little mood things there? Nah, th these are just like... The no, friendship. I mean in the in the main page. Oh, he's got a cat! Oh my god. Full metal jar head. What is it? It's Miss Riona's number. She asked me to give it to you. She said she can help you find someone if you need it. Or if you need any information from her. That's where uh, all his scratches come from. Oh my god, we're kindred souls. We have I, matching band-aids. I think they mostly come from his transformations because he beats himself up. Oh, just like me. <laughs> well, I'm sure it'll come in handy. Thank you. Thanks. Great as always. So, what's next, officer? What's your plan after this? Other than talking to him, I guess I'll focus on the rumors. Word is going around that cars are being messed up there. That's kind of expected though, isn't it? There's no point in adding to the citizens' worries when the case is pretty much over. And I don't want bad press to paint over the area's history. You're right. There's nothing like rumors. Without being stopped, they'll just spiral out of control. I have a question for you though. Which do you prefer? Wild rumors or bad press? Hmm. That's a tough one. There's no limit to what wild rumors can become or how far they'll go. But the press can shape a story, report it, and many will believe it as truth. Both are worrying in their own ways. Fair point. But what if we combine them? Hmm? Rumor, truth, and press. Presses his nose. <laughs> if we somehow combine them, then I think I have a plan. A crazy one, but a plan nonetheless. Maybe y'all can also add to it. Oh? Sure. It'll take a while to explain, though. Well, I'll be here all night. I got time. All right, then. Brace yourselves, folks. It's going to be a doozy. I can't fucking believe he just sat there silently for an hour. I can't believe we w <laughs> we watched him intently for the whole hour. 
I just thought maybe. October 1st. Okay, Riona. Oh my god, I oh. told I misread this as we had a break in at the office. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Aw. <laughs> oh, look at her in her switch. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I think we're getting the Lucas and Riona stuff. Come on, Lucas, so Yam can play. Okay, hey, okay, okay. Work. Boomo, boomo! Yam, what are you doing in this game, Miss Rachel? Oh. I'm just popping on by to say hi. I gotta go. Oops, I'm in this game. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you literally cut out. So sorry. See. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Oh, okay. oh perfect. Well done. Yeah. I got it! Boomo! I did a perfect joke! Congratulations! Done what? The music I'm making with AJ. I told you about it last time, remember? Oh, uh, yeah, you did. I brought it with me. Check it out, will you? Oh, uh, really? Oh, okay. Uh, are you sure we can play it? What about NDAs and stuff? Oh, no one who signs NDAs gives a shit about them. <laughs> Come on, you silly. We're the only ones here anyway. Come on, you silly. What are you doing? Oh, silly. Such a nice cat. Such a pretty cat. <laughs> It'll be fine. I mean, the direction has already changed a lot, so... Oh? Never mind that. Just play it quick. What do you think? We're calling it a fuck jam. Uh, oh, cool. Album oh. art needs work, but... <laughs> they didn't want the artist. Together. The artist is like, no, I'm not doing more work. Fuck it. Oh, it's still there. Nope. I missed. <laughs> it just, like, turns it off. Yeah, that's great. I was inspired by the drink you gave me, so it was a bad one. Wow! Oh, this comment in chat. Wow. Is, well, everybody's so creative. Oh my God. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you composed the melodies? With Aramie, yeah. So, like, I know with a name like Sweetheart Latte, you'd expect something a little more fun sounding, right? But hearing how you made the drink reminded me of something. Like a new love's beginning, or thinking about your crush. The sourness of anxiety and the sweetness of a promise. There are a lot of steps to keep the delicate balance going until you get to the point where you decide to confess. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I see where you're going with this. Yeah, just like the drink, right? It needs the perfect balance of ingredients and temperature to mix it properly, doesn't it? Or it would curdle, yeah. <laughs> That's a really interesting take on the name. There's just one thing I'm wondering about. What is it? If this is supposed to be your new single, wouldn't everyone expect to hear your voice? I know, but I'm planning something. You'll see. How are you, by the way, Boomo? Yeah, he's fine, business as usual. Wait, I almost forgot! Did Dad come here last night? Hendry? Yes, he did. He was meeting up with Mr. Gala, actually. <sighs> okay, that's good to know. Why do you ask? He didn't reply to my text last night, so I wondered what he was doing. Ah, I see. Do you two not see each other often? What do you mean? I just saw him this morning. We still live, live under the same roof, after all. Oh. What a surprise. I thought you'd be raring to move out by the time you turn 21. Rent is expensive. We're in Seattle. Well, 
Well, you're not wrong in thinking that, but Dad's getting older, you know? He's becoming forgetful, too, and so I'm a little bit worried. Oh, understandable. Besides, we don't really have anyone else, you know? None of our extended family even lives in the States. So, as much as he's been a nag my whole life, I feel like I should watch over him for now. Right. Hello, welcome. Where is my daughter? Oh no. Good evening to you, Miss Riona. Hey, Riona! Fancy meeting you here. Oh. Hello. How are you? Sorry, I... This music's awful. Could you turn it off? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> right, just a second. Alright. It sounds like that one time you made a bad drink. Huh. Is she alright? I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh, well. I'll just get a drink first. Alright. What would you like? I'll have a cup of milk, please. Milk, milk, milk. <laughs> The Amy special, milk, milk, milk. She just like me for real. That's not my drink. That's, That's not, not my, my drink. drink. <laughs> that is my drink. <laughs> ah! Is a uh... slap me. All right. Um, I poured it almost to the top. What do you think? Is this is this enough? <laughs> Where's my art? <laughs> Where's <laughs> my art? <laughs> That's not enough. <laughs> Use cream. I want art. <laughs> Oh, you were. F I'm sorry. <laughs> Here you go. A cup of warm milk. You can't make latte art unless it's a latte. Thank you. Hmm. What's up? Oh, nothing. I just remembered something. I did something special, so don't worry about it. I hate milk. I love milk. But milk killed my grandma, okay? <laughs> Miss, are you alright? No. I think I'm sad. Oh no! Oh god! What's wrong? That's right, Fiona, what's wrong? I've been doing a lot of thinking. About what? About my situation. Have you ever felt like something you've been doing your whole life might be a mistake? What makes you think that, miss? My apologies. I, I did not mean to be so <laughs> traumatic. Would you two mind listening to my scattered thoughts? Of course. Let it all out. <gasps> Miss Screeches Miss <Rachel>. just <laughs> shatters the window. <laughs> Miss Rachel is right. Feel free. Wait, change the music to what? <laughs> to a song that doesn't suck. <laughs> All right. After listening to the experiences you and Mr. Lucas had, along with my conversations with... Change the song to something better? What do you mean? Hang on. Sorry, I know you're going through something. Just, uh... Check in on my phone for a minute. NDA might- Oh, NDA might get you! <laughs> That's very funny. Along with my conversations with Bumumo and the regulars of this coffee shop, I've gradually realized over the past week that... that I'm severely lacking in awareness about many things. Huh? And what makes it more troubling is... It is likely that my ignorance was on... purpose? Ignorance? On purpose? What do you mean? Miss Rachel, the position you hold today is a result of your efforts and tenacity. 
You honed your talent, but you did not shirk from taking risks in order to succeed. Your knowledge of the industry has enabled you to successfully navigate it, and I greatly respect your ability to do so. Mr. Lucas also, although I do not fully understand his content, he's successful enough that people earn a living through his work. I'm aware that must require a great deal of courage and flexibility. To put it simply, I feel ashamed of myself because I forgot I'm like way too low for her. I forgot her voice. It's high up. Because I may have become too comfortable with the status quo to the point that I no longer strive to improve my situation. Are you really though? I mean, you've been trying your best, right? I've been trying, yes. But have I been trying my best? That's debatable. And about my intentional ignorance, I'm simply afraid. Afraid? Girl with the, the fucking imposter syndrome, let's go! I understand I only have a small chance at being selected for a role in a play. I really do. I understand it's due to my lack of network and the industry's expectations, along with my lack of higher education, and for the simple fact of what I am. I'm truly fine with all that. I really am. Because, because all of it is a pain I'm already familiar with. And perhaps somewhere in the deepest depths of my heart, I'm having to face unfamiliar rejections again. Having to get used to new pain all over again. Just might be. Difficult. Miss. I I apologize for all this ruckus. I, I didn't mean to Miss Riona. Would you please allow me to make you a drink? It's on the house. Um but Who won't sis, right? Right. What was the pie you ate the other day? Um the blueberry hibiscus mint pie? Did you like it? I did. Quite a lot, actually. Then I'm gonna make something special, just for you. Can you tell me its flavor profile? Fucking guess how it's made, you have to get it. <laughs> Give it yeah. a Slides a glass of milk in front of her? How's that? <laughs> <laughs> um, no sense crying over spilled milk, huh? Give me a moment. The blueberry was very sweet and fresh. The crust was buttery. The flavor was enhanced by the tartness of hibiscus and the herbal coolness of mint. Just a very sweet blueberry pie with hibiscus and mint. I mean, why? <laughs> so, hibiscus, honey, mint. That's so cute. Aww. Aww. Are you gonna give her a wedding invite? Oh, well. I don't have one. Oh. One pie in a cup coming up. Oh, boom, boom, boom. That's so extra. It kind of is, isn't it? But it's so pretty. Thank you. Yeah, thirty dollars. <laughs> no, Bumumo's a lunatic, so everything costs the same. Oh yeah, you're right. It's all thirty dollars. Well, everything's thirty dollars now. Yeah, yeah that... <laughs> it really is. Well done, Bumumo. Are you really serving a warm pie filling to your customer? It's not a pie filling. I simply made fruit cordials with honey, and I just happened to have a blueberry one on hand. Sure. It's not a pie filling, trust me. Tastes That's like a fucking a pie, pie filling. filling. <laughs> it's not. It's nice. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'm sad again. What's on your mind? Sad. <laughs> right now, I'm rethinking my true motivation for doing all of this. The driving force behind everything I've done up to this point. 
No? What was it? Hmm? Your driving force, before you started questioning it. I wish to break free from the shackles of prejudice. Whether it's society's, or my own. Not only for myself, but also for my kind. I see. So, it doesn't have to be opera, right? Pardon? Reaching that goal can be done a lot of ways. Like politics. Huh. You're not wrong, but... <laughs> that was just an example, jeez. But I admit, being an entertainer is probably the fastest way to win people over. But that's not what you want to do, is it? My heart trembles for the opera. That is why I wish to pursue it as long as I'm able. However, I also believe it's time for... M nope. I believe it is also time for me to consider expanding my horizons. Oh? I simply do not wish to be trapped in my own fear forever. Although I do regret that my one-track-minded efforts may have been in vain. I don't think everything you've done so far is in vain, though. Hmm? Just most of it. I always believe in sincere efforts. <laughs> I, but never I, mind that. I want to be a race car. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, girl, you could do it. Anybody could it but you. What are you going to do now? Take Go me, get some gasoline. Take me to a oh. boat. I'll be a foghorn. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my God. What I'm idea? not sure. I already rejected Mr. Lucas's offer. Lucas? He's an influencer who's been coming here recently. Girl, we already talked. Well, you, we talked about him. Why does that name ring a bell? Oh wait. You know him, the Lucas. Not closely, but I think we follow each other. Bom, bom. Luckily, my computer that doesn't work has a solid state drive, so I come back very quickly after it crashes. Oh. It's because you paid a lot of money for that, didn't you? I paid so much money. Thirty dollars. <laughs> Just as much as Boom Boomo's coffee. <laughs> Man, no. if I went to a coffee shop. Is, and... is stream back up? Okay. Yeah. If you went to a coffee oh. shop. If Just I went to a coffee sh Yeah. Uh, and it was thirty dollars for a cup. I'm like, this better blow my fucking nuts off. This better be the annihilate craziest your thing. prostate. Yeah, annihilate my prostate. Like, this better be incredible. I know these don't matter, but it's important. Do you like my shit, Jam? I hate it. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you have to redo all of this? Oh, yeah. Yep. Cool. Love it. You bet your fucking bippy. Don't you dare bet my bippy. Milk, milk, milk. Milk, milk, milk. Sip, sip, sip. Hey chat, how you doing? I hope you're doing well tonight. Did you feed yourself well in her absence? I should figure out what I want to do for... Oh yeah, we didn't make food, food tonight, Amy. Oopsie. It's like, it's late for you guys. Yeah, we didn't make... I had pizza! Oh, I didn't. There was only the one slice left. Uh -oh. You are the size of a mouse. That should be enough. Yeah, I, I, I feed a mouse a cookie. I have cookies. I could probably make some tonight. Oh, that's great for you. Yeah. Thanks, honey. <laughs> wow. I also have milk. Yeah. Right, I forgot this game's autosave does not retain uh, anything after you 
serve something. Bubba boy. It's autosave comes after the junctures. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's not this game's fault that my computer... This game does crash on its own sometimes, but again, that's a my computer problem. Yeah. And the sad and useless is Jello's $17,000 brick. It was how much? It, it was... is joke, yeah? Yeah, that wasn't. It's not actually seventeen thousand. Okay, you never know with you, dude. Okay, here we go. If it's even the same Lucas, I mean, what was the offer for? I was offered a spot on his new show. While he's still unsure of the format, his aim is to elevate underrated talents, showcase and interview them in order to bring their work to the forefront. I see. So, so what if you rejected his offer? Call him! Huh? Or text him! Tell him you changed your mind! That's, what's the worst that could happen? People are allowed to change their minds. If he rejects you, well, that's his loss, isn't it? I'm not sure it'd be his loss, necessarily. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Just do it. Text him. Yeah. Rachel is, like, the really good... Like, like, you're way too drunk at a bar. Like, the girl helping you not text your ex in the bathroom while you're having a yeah, breakdown. She, yeah. she's, a, she's the girl that holds your hair. I'm just like, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Hey, asshole. <laughs> Sorry. Good, good. Arsehole. Arsehole. There you go. Very yeah, capitalize Martin. that. Yep. He responded. What did he say? He told me to stay here. Because he's coming here soon? Huh. Huh. Pops up mm -hmm. from behind the counter. Fuck! <laughs> oh! does, he, does he live, like, nearby or something? No, not really. But it seems he had some things to do around here. I see. What a great coincidence. That means you can clear things up in person. You're right. Thank you for giving me the courage, Miss Rachel. Just call me Rachel, will you? All right. Girl, Rachel is literally like 600 years younger than you. <laughs> Although I regret my one track mindset, I cannot say it's been entirely detrimental to my life. It is as. Oh, I'm so bad at like the way she doesn't use contractions is very antithetical to my own speaking. <laughs> it is as a habit formed during my time living in the commune. Commune? We banshees used to congregate together in order to protect ourselves from the outside world. Each of us tended to have a specific role in the commune, and we would all work together as one, like gears in a machine. Interesting. I didn't know that. But you left the commune, correct? Yes. Was it difficult? No, because we're not a cult. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it that way. It's okay. The commune is simply a defense mechanism from the distant past. So the reason we do not, separate words, see a lot of banshees around is because many of them still choose to remain in the commune. Right. The world still isn't kind to us. However, we are aware that eventually we must reopen ourselves to the outside world. It was for that reason I learned to drive. You seem to be fond of driving. I am. It's like having a mobile fortress. <laughs> Which is why I find driving calming. Calming, sorry. Calming. <laughs> calming. <laughs> Can you tell I'm American? <laughs> <laughs> well. A mobile fortress, huh? I never thought of cars that way, but that's interesting. So, when you said everyone has a specific role, what did you mean by that? Sorry, I'm just curious. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Dumb right I don't. Dumb right I don't. <laughs> 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 well, we don't have a Banshee culture center anywhere. Time to start one then. <laughs> Perhaps it's best if I use a specific example, such as my mother's role. Oh? Her role is to trade. In the event that we needed to increase our supply or sell our products, we are simply in need of some negotiating. Or we are sip you, re reading. It is my mother who will do the job. My mother was the one who knew how to read. None of us else. Mother, I'm stuck. 
<laughs> she must travel to the nearest city or town in order to exchange goods. And she's our incorporeal. <laughs> <laughs> You're not stuck! More of stuck! <laughs> snow, snow stops us, Benchies. We can't face through it. We can't face through nothing whiter than us. Oh my god. <laughs> in chat, Bakes, I'll rub your Bakes. Bakes! Again, not the right accent, not but the right fair, one. in fairness, I'm probably not doing a great job. <laughs> Just, we can't face through anything whiter than us. Please keep that milk away from me. <laughs> it terrifies we, we call, it Back in the homeland, we call it Banshee's Bane. <laughs> Just a cup of milk. <laughs> and she's our representative and other communities need to discuss things with us. Right. Everyone's work has equal weight. One is in charge of food and drink. Another is in charge of all of our laundry. That sounds like the worst job. Those are the yeah. washing women. That's the banshee thing. But one person? Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> For that person. Everyone has a responsibility to set up schedules and organize the collection of goods. So, like, does each role only have one bearer at a time? No, sometimes there are two or more, depending on the power needed. It's all about balance. I see. Interesting. Does your mom still fulfill her role to this day? Yes. 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 Although, there are times when I wish she would retire. Yo, what's up? It's me, Lucas! Why? <laughs> I'm sorry, you just thought of that video of the guy pretending to be an influencer, and then his friend starts laughing at him, and she has the jello cough. She's doing a good job with it. Hang but on. The role truly changed her. Oh. She had to endure. Oh. She had to endure years of animosity. She had to negotiate everyone's way out of trouble, or to simply defend the commune. That's such a heavy burden. We talking about racism? <laughs> <laughs> it is, but she refuses to accept any help offered to her. Why? You wanna take Lucas, Oz? Uh, yeah, hang on, I'm trying to find this TikTok. I... We're doing a stream right now, Oz. Okay. <laughs> like, think. Uh, okay, so this guy's like a dude. He's like a dude bro. He, he's just he's a, a nice boy. He's a he's nice a boy. He's a ganky. Ah. Uh, because it has become her identity, I think. Oh, you're here. Yeah, hi lady. I was starting to wonder when you were going to say something. I'd introduce myself, but I want to hear Rihanna's story. Fine by me. You're very riveted by the racism we've been dealing with our whole lives. Uh, <laughs> we're not allowed to do We can't face through anything whiter than us. That's why the English were able to take over our island. Oh <laughs> Fuck. Man. <laughs> The White Cliffs of Dover. <laughs> it's as Mr. L Mr. Lucas said. I thought we were already past all that formal stuff. Am I wrong? Well, you still call her Lady. But she is. Shh, the Lady is speaking. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> it is as uh, Lucas said. Our discussion the other day led to the same conclusion for me as well. My mother's protective instincts turned into an angry sense of pride. Oh. So, while she performs her role really well, her anger often gets the best of her. My mom's dead! My mom's yeah. dead! <laughs> I'm no, Freya! Yeah, Freya just... Freya crashes through the window! <laughs> Things are way calmer for our commune now, so I am thankful for that. Unfortunately, the damage has already been done. Right. That's when I understood she was angry, too. Or, uh, why your mom's angry? If your mom has dealt with haters for all her life... And you were pretty much in the front seat for all that? Oof. Tough. I guess I can relate in some ways. 
The Nekomini culture is also quite strict, although nowhere, nowhere as rigid as yours. We're heavily stereotyped as being very mid. Mid? Like, m mediocre in all ways aside from being pretty and cute. Although, don't get me wrong, I am cute. It makes me wonder, you know? How much of our survival instincts turned into bad stereotypes? Things have changed so much for everyone. Which means we should have moved on from terrible prejudices decades ago, right? So why are so many still stuck with outdated and bad perceptions? Can you imagine if like the camera just turned over and Freya was there? I know exactly what you mean. Being a white human is so difficult. Actually, that's exactly why. Life is complicated and change is hard. Learning and unlearning stuff takes time and mental energy, right? And there are billions of living beings in this world. That's why many folks choose to reduce their worlds to the size that they can handle. All based on their priorities, of course. I mean, it's no different from how everyone chooses content to consume. Uh. Yeah, and sadly, different culture is probably one of the last things on most beings' minds. Unless you already have a vested interest in it, then it's a different story. Makes sense. We all need to survive. I understand that. However, I feel some things just shouldn't be excused. Things we do, the principles we hold. All of it has an impact on others in one way or another. Right. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, by the way, did uh, Pops contact you, lady? You know, about the tree? Oh, he did, but... What tree? It, uh, don't win, come on, don't, no one gives a shit about that. <laughs> sure, keep your smelly secrets. All right, keep your secrets. No, no, this is perfect. You should listen to. The more exposure this gets, the better. Oh, so you're going to tell me? From the very beginning. But before I get, forget. Lady, did you have uh, something to say to me? Since you texted me and all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, Riona, say it. I hate you. Oh. <gasps> um, so, about your show. Yeah, you're in, right? Are you still unsure about the format? Well, I'm still trying to put uh, it all in order on paper, so... Kind of... Like, I know what I want. I, I want to do a podcast, a deep dive, and a showcase. But I'm still trying to figure out a great way to fit them all in nicely, you know? Once I'm done, I'll let you know for sure. Uh, what are you planning to show, anyway? How do you think it'll help the, the guests? Oh, curious, aren't we? Heh. <laughs> Basically, I want to cover stuff that's interesting and underrated from around the city and beyond if it takes off, but let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? Nah, scratch it. I know it'll take off. That's some confidence you have there. Even though you're not even sure what the format will be? I might not know the exact format yet. I just pictured him like... Pecking at Riona's shoulder like a woodpecker on each of those <laughs> dots. <laughs> I'll kill you. But all the elements needed to make a good show are locked and loaded already. Really? What are they? Fuck! Bluff call! Oh uh, shit. <laughs> well, there's already so much content out there, right? No. What's a computer? And you can't deny that today's audience gets bored easily, too. If something doesn't appeal to them immediately, they'll just click away. So, how to keep them engaged and stick with us, you ask? H handcuffs? I'll never know. Well, from my experience, you need roughly five things down pat to keep a show going. The first one being the format itself. The second one is Muppets. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which... Ironically, is the only thing I don't have. Yet. Anyway, a proper format has good consistency, could be the way the show is cut or how the information flows. It's to build familiarity with the audience and it makes things easier for the creator, too. That makes sense. The next thing you need is topics. 
sure, you could have a main theme for your show. Like singing, or cooking, or anything really. Having a theme is essential, but getting topics flowing is essential -er. Cause even singing will need more than one song, right? Same with cooking, you need to show many techniques, recipes, all that jazz. That's true. Right. Since the goal of the show is to shine a spotlight on all the things underrated, I figure it should start small and nearby, but still have the potential to grow. And what's better for that than exploring this city and its inhabitants in depth? Especially since I'm fairly new here and all. Oh. You get what I'm saying. No. I can see there are many interesting topics to discuss. Yeah, like locations, events, history. Yes, and many interesting <laughs> individuals to meet. Definitely. Projects, side projects, plenty of things to cover. Makes sense. What's next? Know your audience. Honestly, in this internet era, you don't need to appeal to everyone. If you do it right, you can target just one type of like audience and still get a lot of eyes. Fortunately, I have my base audience already. But since the show will be on a completely new format, a lot of them will reject it. Because people do not like change. That's right. But honestly, that's fine. I'm trying to attract an audience that's more open-minded. And I can help elevate stuff we're going to spotlight. Like, say, if we cover musicians, they'll go to their sites or live shows. Some cool neighborhood project, they'll be eager to check that out. Cool coffee shop, they'll be interested in visiting. No. Wink, wink. Oh. <laughs> anyway, you all know what I mean. The next thing is audio quality. Great visuals and edits, you know the drill. Of course. And the last thing you need for a good show is... Muppets. Me, the Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> eh, well, what's with the awkward silence? I mean, personality and smarts. To find info, you need to be resourceful. <laughs> the way you're inflecting him is so bizarre and just... <laughs> to find info, he is getting a little muppety himself. <laughs> Oops, that's just my natural ability. And to relay information well, you need a good personality, right? Well, I'm your guy. <laughs> Why? What's well, so funny? Am I not the perfect guy? <laughs> Resourceful, huh? Really? Oh, so that is what you're questioning, huh? I'm just saying. Because didn't you say you're new to the city? So... Oh, I see. I see how it is. <laughs> you really thought this through. I'm kind of impressed. Thank you. Probably won't be anywhere near as big as your talk show, though. I'll tell you that. Huh? Rumor has it that your manager is trying to get your old girl band back together. And I heard there'll be a talk show or something for it. I like that he just, like, they did not exchange any, like, hey, we've never met before. But, like, we're in a mutual follow. That's pretty cool. It's just like, yeah, I know who you are, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? How did you hear that? I have my ways. I didn't get the info from shady sources, I promise. Oh, okay, I'll give you that resourceful guy. Your information is outdated already. Huh? Because I won't be in the show. Oh, why? Well, mm, I actually like the idea of a comeback. But if it were to happen, I would want new branding, you know? Like a new us, the show we've grown. Huh, I get that, 100%. That's too bad. Why? I think you have a talent for getting people to talk. You're able getting to read the room. Getting people to coffee with... talk. You're able to read the room with sensitivity. Therefore, I would definitely be interested in watching your talk show program. You think so? Oh, I'm flattered. You're right about that, though. I'm pretty good. But I'd rather express myself through my music, my songs, and my performances. You know. Yes, I understand that very well. Then do you want to be our first guest? Me? Why? 
I thought you wanted to highlight independent artists. Well, aren't you making a new kind of music lately, Miss Rachel? So you actually have a side project? Uh, well, yeah, but... Time to break NDA, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, shit! Yo, this sucks. This will ruin my I'll shit. Turn this garbage off, bro. <laughs> turn I this garbage off. about inviting We were talking, bro. Turn your shit. <laughs> turn this shit off. I'm not passing Boomumo the ox cord. <laughs> God damn it. I was kidding about inviting you earlier, but hey, maybe it could work out after all. Help out a new channel, will ya? You wish. I am a very busy Nekomimi. But maybe. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> hmm, what is a Boomumo? I thought your plan was to have Miss Riona as your first guest. Oh. Well, about that. I'm definitely jumping the gun here, but. I was kinda hoping you'd be my co host instead. Whoa. What? Me? I was gonna ask you later, but Boomomo over here cornered me something fierce. Oops, sorry. I mean, you guys have a great color scheme together. They do! Yeah. Those are like my favorite schemes. Why me? I like the way you explain difficult subjects, and I, I really enjoy talking to you. You've plenty of knowledge and experience from being on the road a lot, and all your stories are so damn interesting. Plus, someone needs to be offset, or someone needs to offset my chaotic personality. Like contrasting hosts, huh? This is really cute, but like, in terms of like, her mental health, I think that would be awful for her. Mm. Yeah, it's more she's not nervous talking in front of camera at all. Well, she is a performer. I know, I know, I'm just saying she's a natural on camera. So yeah, that's what I was gonna ask later, if you wanna be my co-host. Uh, only if you're interested, of course. <laughs> I... I might need a moment to consider. Of course, of course. Yeah, take your time. Um, however, if you are open to receiving input, may I throw in an idea for the format of the show? For real? Yeah, of course you may. Thanks I for swapping that shit music off! <laughs> I love that joke, I'm sorry. And I'm staying until you tell me everything I missed. Okay. Yeah! This night's still young anyway. Jesus Whoa. fucking Christ. Whoa. Ooh. <clears throat> uh oh, we in a blackout? I'm Freya. <laughs> oh shit. Oh! <gasps> so I drove him around while he was nursing his broken heart. I really don't know why we're discussing my sad stories right now. Eyes on the happy couple. Oh, it wasn't sad. It wasn't sad so much as cute, though. Stop talking. Why are you here? <laughs> it's my <laughs> wedding. <laughs> oh, yay! Uh -huh. I don't know if I've actually said it. Riona's design is so cute. <laughs> I yeah. love her. She's great. She's got that Bella look going on. Yeah, very Bella with her. <laughs> no <it>. delivery today. <laughs> uh, what did it say? Just every day she update her like little status is just like extremely mundane. Just there's traffic because she's like an uber eats driver oh gotcha and on days she shows up or is doing something she's just like i'm not delivering today and it's always very like dry it's very funny but it is true that you and mr bailey should be in the spotlight miss lua we're just in the light sorry i'm trying to get to the switch 
Ow! Whoops. My apologies, Mr. Gala. You're literally solid like a wall. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, hmm? yeah. I'll take that as a compliment. Ah, here we go. Aw. <laughs> oh. oh, she's wearing his jacket! <laughs> You all found your way. That's actually extremely. I didn't even notice that. I just thought her dress was cute. Mm. You all found your way. I've I've seen like art of people just being like new non-binary wedding outfit when you don't want to pick wedding dress or suit, and it's like a combination of both, and they look fucking awesome. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> um. Gala combed his hair. Oh. Aww. <laughs> no, it's raining. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> you all found your way to a seat. I'm impressed. We've been here often enough that we know the place like the back of our hand. Looks at the backs of his beaten up hands. My god. Bailey looks That's at the new. back of his horrible man fingers. My god. <laughs> They're like little sausages. We all to zoom out. We look at the state of the cafe. The world around it is apocalyptic and destroyed. <laughs> My god. Raccoon City. <laughs> That's what it means to have regulars, Boomumo. God, I hope Freya crashes the wedding. She's like, hey, everyone, I'm back. What the fuck? I'm back. <laughs> you didn't invite me. <laughs> so it does. I did somersaults all the way here from Europe. <laughs> She's just bleeding. <laughs> now, shall we get the celebration started? Please, I'm so excited. That's adrenaline for you. Hang on to that feeling. You call it adrenaline. I call it deep, passionate, irresistible fascination for her husband. <laughs> Hey, 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 don't get too cocky, Mr. Miller. Oh, are you taking Lewis' last name, Bailey's? Obviously, he hates his fucking family. Uh. Huh, no, we're keeping our last names. But I'll be Mr. Miller if it pleases Mrs. Miller. Anything to make you happy. Oh, you always make me melt. <laughs> Disgusting. You should change your name to Failey's. He said, uh, wiping off his teeth. <laughs> How many times must I tell you? It was the city hall flowers. They make my allergies flare up. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> this would be the perfect time for some drinks. I wouldn't say no to something hot for sure. I'm right here. Oh! <laughs> and to something sweet. <laughs> something um, decadent and chocolatey. The, there's no joke more for me than the combination of fake cutoff loud noise and oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! But let's keep it fresh. There's enough sweetness here to give me a sugar rush. So, in summary... Sweet and chocolatey, but with some freshness to it, please, Boomo. Fuck. Yeah. I can eat chocolate, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Just chocolate honey chocolate mint. Honey honey mint. mint. Stop adding honey. That's extremely That's cute. Midnight. Lovely. So we're gonna. With place... three people here, they can finally stand up to hide. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Bailey's has anything over Hyde. He's got a high magic skill. Oh, okay. This is inspired by a sweet evening treat. Hopefully the drink is to your liking. No. I love it. It's very unique and festive. This has chocolate in it. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> very comforting. Exactly what I had in mind. It's fine. High <laughs> <laughs> praise from Hyde. You know it. It tastes a bit British. Ouch! Oof! Oof. <laughs> Just fucking throw it in my face, why don't you? God! <laughs> what were you sorry, were you gonna say something? Well? No, I already said it. It wasn't a good joke. Keep going. Okay. It tastes a bit British. Riona slams into the room. What'd you fucking say? I don't think Irish people call themselves British. No, I meant that she heard anything that was British and wanted to attack it. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Die! I meant the exact opposite. Yes. Have you ever been on that side of the pond, Brumumo? Ah. Uh. 
I did a bit of traveling in my day. Maybe we ran into each other in the past. Maybe we did. Passing each other like two ships in the night before meeting at the mooring. That's very lyrical. Hmm. I blame the mood on you two. All I know about the UK is that British werewolf guy I once met. He went absolutely wild during Fury. But even then, he would beg the wall's pardon after putting his fist through it. Sounds about right. And I imagine you two became great friends. Nah, you know rude vampires are much more my type. Hey! Actually, no, I'm not offended. Rude vampire, I'm very proud of it. That would look, that would look great on a t-shirt. Awesome idea. I'll consider that for a Christmas gift. <laughs> R right. I guess we should raise a toast. Does anyone want to make a speech? Someone. Bumumo, maybe. I'm an alien. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm the right person to give speeches. You definitely are. Yes, if you want to, we'd love to hear you. Freya will. I don't want to. Oh my god. I would kill for Freya to come and be like, let me do the speech. I miss Freya. I love her. <laughs> In that case, thank you for choosing to come to this cafe, Miss Lua, Mr. Bailey's. And thank you for making us feel like a true part of your lives. Here, here. You'll always be part of our lives now, Bumumo. Absolutely. George and to the point. Good speech. Your turn, Hyde. Really? <sighs> well, fine. Thank you, Lua and Baileys, for entertaining me and making me consider a counseling career, however briefly. You have a good bunch. That means a lot, Hyde. You've been a very good friend to us. I don't think we're forgetting about you, Gala. Speech time. Right. I don't know you as well as Bumumo, guys. And I haven't helped you nearly as much as Hyde did. But despite that, you've made me feel welcome. You've immediately made me feel part of your family. May this warmth that you show others always reflect as joy in the family you're starting today. Awful speech. Awful. So Awful! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gala. Thanks, man, really. To the happy couple. To the happy couple. To the happy couple. Sorry, I was waiting to save. Boop! Boop! <laughs> Are your allergies troubling you again, Mr. Hyde? Bumumo. My dear Bumumo. Never think that you're out of reach of my retribution. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I love this guy. <clears throat> Oops. I do apologize that we only serve soft drinks here. Some bubbles would have benefited the occasion. Oh, don't worry about it. As far as I'm concerned, it suits me just fine. Yeah, we're not really drinking booze these days. No? Speaking of starting a family, just in case, you know. Oh! And I'm avoiding it in solidarity. That's nice, you guys. Rooting for you. Thanks, Gala. Just imagine, little purple elves with horns running around everywhere. And thanks, I think, Hyde. I aim to please. <laughs> Personally, I'm fine with soft drinks as well. Never liked the stronger stuff. He's not lying. I never saw him touch it. Is there any specific... Why was he in a bar then when you met? Is there any specific reason why not? I just don't like the taste. Never got used to it, and never particularly tried to. People, as... People assume I like to drink, especially since I'm a big burly dude, I guess. But, nope. Assumptions like that are annoying to me. I like that you look. Uh, but, 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 but I like how you look. I like that you look at it just as a taste among others, Gala. You're gonna like the way I look. 
guaranteed. <laughs> sometimes I want to just taste wine, and sometimes I just want tomato juice. Definitely. This just became this big social thing. But I, for one, wish there was a better range of soft drinks. This is... 1891. <laughs> This is so clearly just the author venting about being a teetotaler. Yeah, and forgetting their own character's backstory. <laughs> we went to a very expensive restaurant a while ago. They had a soft drink pairing option. They imported some alcohol-free vermouth, homemade f some fruit juice. It all tasted really nice and unique. Don't you hate Who alcohol, used to Joe? drink? Yes, I can. I I also hate alcohol. That's why I'm looking at this and going, "This is just some author venting shit right here." <laughs> Wait, I mean, which character yeah. used to drink? Um, I I I feel I, I thought Gala was at the bar as like a bodyguard or something. No, like that, he like got a hired as a bodyguard by Hyde. He was just there. Oh. Mm. But then they also had edible robots. And they made a miniature forest out of the vegetables and dark chocolate. Wow. When did you go to a place like that? Oh, a while ago. With my family. Back when we were still in Dutch. Hey. I'm okay, sweetie. Vegetables what? and chocolate. That seems like a mix you'd love to make, Boo Moo Mo. Yeah. <laughs> well, I make a mean cocktail. There's a hard version and a soft version. In the hard version, I use vodka. In the soft version, I don't use vodka. Fair enough. What else goes into it? A little bit of basil, some lemon juice, a pinch of salt, tonic water. Oh, you're doing so well. Tonic water is for mixing drinks. Yeah, it's gross, though. <laughs> In chat, I call it swoon. Because you're not supposed to drink it by itself. It's for mixing. It sounds like something I would enjoy. Wait for it. And of course, a big dollop of fresh blood. I thought... Here it comes. Oh, type, preferably. Universal donors and all that. I thought that he was cold turkey on he, he is. He's just fucking with them. Okay. Yuck. Uh, I think this is a joke. I hope this is a joke. And this is why he never gets invited to parties. What do you mean? I'm invited to all the parties. <laughs> all the parties! Thank you so much for being with us, the three of you. Which is Thank to say, you. Bay, Gala, and Boo Moo Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having us. It was fun to meet your friends from work, Baileys. And your sister, Lua. She's got a very strong character. I respect that. She's impossible, you mean. And I love her to bits. Yeah, she took a while to warm up to me at first. I'm not sure why! <laughs> um, just a year or three. She probably wanted to make sure you were right for her baby sister. Yes, that was definitely the reason why. She always thinks of me as some sort of... softy that she needs to protect. Well, I mean, compared to her, Gala is a softy. I'd say Gala is a softy compared to many people. Fair enough. But yes, I think she could take him. He's under fury. If Bumumu ever moves out, I'm out of my specialty. I can ask your sister's number, I guess. You would have to hurry. Or you'll have to step over... Hmm, your primary school friend, Bailey's. Marco? I thought I'd caught him staring at her. I bet they didn't leave it at staring. <laughs> the two witnesses, delightfully cliché, isn't it? You seem to be enjoying the gossip very much, Mr. Hyde. Of course I do. That's how I take my best pictures. Longing glances, touches filled with pent-up desire. Scorn dissimulated in a smirk. Hopefully you've captured some pictures of our lovebirds, too. Yes, I really can't wait to see them. Oh, was I supposed to be doing that? Oops. Well, that's the downside of film. So I pretentious. No, he has, a, he has a cute reason for using film. But it'll be worth it. I'm so happy to be patient. Good girl. 
In that case, I have a little reward for you. Aww. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at this bay! This is amazing! But who are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can... I can move what the camera? The, what the hell? What? Oh my god! How long did you guys play in this game and you didn't know that? Why would I need... I right-clicked it. Why would I ever need to do this? <laughs> Oh my god! Wow, Boomumo, you can move the camera. Looks like I'm not the only one. Boomumo finally starts moving his head. Everyone, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! You thought that right now! <laughs> I'm so happy for you guys! <laughs> what a beautifully like captured moment, beginning. Mr. Hyde. <laughs> yes, truly. Thank you again for doing this, Hyde. Don't mention it. I had an alright time doing it. You can keep this if you want. It's just a Polaroid, but... Oh, no, it's absolutely lovely. It looks so friendly and warm. Like the wedding we always really wanted to have. Yes, once we sifted through the, super, the superfluous details. I love that you guys figured that out in the end. And I love this picture. Do you only have the one, Mr. Hyde? Why, Bumumo? You wanted to frame it and hang it on your wall. Actually, yes, something like that. Good thing I saw it coming. If our newlyweds don't object, I have almost the exact same one here for you. No objections whatsoever. Yeah, I'd love that. It would mean a lot to have a little memory of uh, the stay hanging around here. Thank you so much. No, thank you. <laughs> yes, Boomumo, I'm not sure where we'd be without you. <clears throat> So, I take it you've decided to embrace photography, Mr. Hyde? It would seem so. Oh, come on, tell him. Tell us what? Nothing's been confirmed yet. It's Gala. Oh, they're certainly not going back on it, and you aren't either, right? Of course not. Well, then? Uh, just tell them the story. It's obvious you're dying to. Don't have to ask me twice. Save we, game. We fucked. What? What? <laughs> it's not... Hyde, is or... Hyde has already agreed to shoot another wedding. They're a really sweet couple who's been coming to visit their kid at the hospital. Little Rose has been sick for a while. Doctors think she's going to get better eventually, but no one knows exactly when. So her parents have decided to get married in a room with her around. Oh, that's very oh. cute. It's a lovely idea. I bet little Rose is thrilled. She is. An entire party next to her bed. Can you imagine? Anyhow, they got a chatting with Hyde. I I can't picture a hospital that would be lenient enough to allow that. And just like that, he promised to take their pictures pro bono. That's very good of you, Mr. Hyde. It's nothing. I could use the experience. So that I can milk my modeling ex-colleagues for their wedding pictures. Sounds like a good social redistribution to me. Right. So does that mean you're sticking around Seattle for good, Hyde? I've, I've got the house, and I've got the job, and I've got my own pocket werewolf. So, it sounds like I'll be staying here a little while. That's great to hear. How's the house coming along? Taking ages, but it'll look good when it's finished. I'm having it redone from scratch, so it's a process. But as a vampire, my needs are a little... particular. Fair enough. I think it's normal to be particular when it comes to your dream home, you know? What would a dream ho house look like for the two of you? Hmm, we're not too sure yet. I want it to look like my head, but big! <laughs> <laughs> Honey, just puts a hand on his. <laughs> I want that also. But we're not repeating the same mistakes. No endless Tomodachi scrolling to look at other people's homes. And no overspending or feeling inadequate on my side. My love. It's alright, I'm, I'm glad we talked it all through. Lua made me realize that it's fine if I don't earn as much as she does. And if my family doesn't contribute anything. 
In fact, Lua's mom told me the same during the wedding. I didn't know you talked about it. Don't worry, it went really well. She said she, what mattered to her is that I make her daughter happy. Which is good, because that's what matters to me too. And a happy Lua is a Lua who powers through her job. Yeah, I really can't consider slowing down my career. Well, maybe a little. Yeah, when the time comes, but... The thing is, I don't mind slowing down my career. I've always been the one bringing up the kids' topic. It's not that I don't want them, but I was afraid of what it'd do to my work. That makes sense. Women are always expected to do more when it comes to child... Child rearing. What? Child Child's rearing. a word. That's a word. No, I've just never seen that. Hmm. Oh. Well, not in our couple. You've decided that when we have kids, I'll be a stay-at-home dad. I'll still do some freelance work if and when I have time. Mm, not so much for the money, as to keep my brain working. But I'll be taking care of the little ones and of our place. You know, I keep thinking how happy I am that I met you and married you. Not many men would have wanted that. You'd be surprised. Times are changing and so on. Times are making more room for people to follow their wishes. I've known many men who'd have who'd have rather stayed home with their children than go to work every day and almost never see them. You two just complement each other well. I think so too. Mr. Miller. Mrs. W. Ah, uh, no, using my family on you feels wrong. <laughs> they would throw a fit if they heard you do that. They absolutely would. It's almost tempting. But none of that matters much anyway. As long as we're still Lua and Baileys. Are you married to the S at the end of your name, Baileys? As long as we're still Lua and Bailey. No, I'm not, actually. No! I want to see. Your earrings. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Goes outside and drinks the rainwater. <laughs> It sounds like Hyde has found a new way forward. Yes, yeah. I'm really happy about that. When I first met him, I thought he was a bit mysterious. And honestly, a bit of a jerk. But he's really quite fragile, isn't he? And it's nothing more solid and more fragile than an immortal. Yeah. Nothing screws with your head quite as much as uh, having unlimited time. Even else, with their only long-ish lives have issues. I can imagine. Werewolves are somewhere between elves and humans, and we also struggle with that stuff. I guess the bottom line is, everyone gets bored and confused once in a while, right? And the longer you live, the more once in a while you get. That makes sense to me. I will say, though, I'm mighty happy that he's sticking around. For all that he can be, for all that he can be difficult to be, he always makes life a lot more interesting. And we just really get each other after all this time. You two know what I mean. Yes, we really do. At this point, even when we need to take a bit of time out, we can trust that we'll always find our way back to each other. That's right. You know, he's got a way of finding good people. Hyde, I mean. He'd like Bamumo from the start. Not that I've ever disagreed, but he just really got you right away. He's been very kind to me. And very perceptive about me as well. And I'm glad he befriended you too. This chat right now, it's really good. You're all right too, Gala. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing more of you. <laughs> right back at you. Ah, uh, listen to that. It's pouring rain again. Guys, it never stops. <laughs> it's Seattle. <clears throat> It'd be really cold if I didn't have your jacket, Bay. I am cold! Are you okay? Look at my fingers! They just have horrible frostbite on his man digits. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about me. I always worry about you. 
And I guess that's kind of my job now. Only if I get to worry about you too. You guys are gross. <laughs> yeah. You guys are cute. But like in a gross and bad way. <laughs> but you know what's even better than worrying about each other? Shutting the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> Leaving. Not worrying about each other. Point taken. Rainy weddings are meant to be good luck anyways. Once wondered where that came from. It sounds like lip service for the happy couple. To avoid a meltdown if it rains, which must happen often enough. Really? So, you don't know? Don't know what? Uh, maybe it's just a thing among elves. Have you heard of it, Bumumo? Are you referring to the goddess's tears legend? That's the one. Never heard of that. It's actually a whole epic in medieval elven poetry. But I can give you the short version. Come on, I'm very curious. Alright then. Long time ago lived a powerful goddess. Uh, that goddess had many children, but all of her children... Uh, but of all of her children, she liked one best. They were the shyest and the quietest. With their siblings, when their siblings screamed for attention, they sat aside and played with clouds. When their siblings tormented each other, they silently looked at the stars. When their siblings ran away from the rain, they waited and watched the rain fall. The goddess thought, Even if all my children desert me, this one will always be by my side. They are kind and gentle, and they will love me and take care of me. She thought of the days ahead, and she smiled. But one day, as the young godlings sat on the edge of a cloud, pondering the world, a gust of wind blew on them and they lost their balance. Oh no! Don't worry, it's not a sad story. So they fell and died horribly, and then- But it was- but it was a quick death. It was very funny, there was a slide whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> Carried by the wind, they floated down to the ground. Mm. And immediately, they were astonished. There were so many things around them that they'd never seen before. They were both delighted and lost, and they stood rooted in place for many human eras. Until human found them there. Shall we- When the fuck is this gonna be about rain on a wedding day? Shall we call the godling Aeon and the human Ray, just for clarity? They don't have names in the story. That's gonna help me for sure. I get lost without names. Alright, Aeon and Raiders. Get the feeling they're like setting this lore up for Coffee Talk 3, 4, and 5, mm -hmm. huh? Mm hmm. Ray walked up to Aeon and said, Where'd you get that tie? <laughs> Finding them stunned, <laughs> guided them forward. They took their other. V they took them to their village and showed them how they lived their life. The end. As days passed by, Aeon started talking to Rey. They discussed stars and planets, clouds and suns. They talked of harvest and of young children, of families and old men. Famines. Oh, famines and old men, sorry. Whoops. They talked of time and of eternity, and as they looked into each other's eyes, they found both the briefest of moments and the longest era in there. And that's how they both knew they were in love. And they decided to get married, but both of them wanted the assent of their family. Ray got it without any trouble. Their family were quite fond of Aeon by then. But when Aeon went to see their mother, the goddess... <laughs> <laughs> Give her a chance, my love. She improves. But yeah, at first she wasn't thrilled. In fact, she was outraged to hear that her favorite child should be taken away from her. That reminds me of someone. I promise you, she's a lot better than my mother. Anyway, she got really angry and she told Aeon... Get married if you wish, but if you do get married, then you shall wither and die just like your fiance. Yuck. And to nobody's surprise at this point, Aeon said, I'm alright with that. What's eternity if I can't have my ray by my side? Down to get married, the went. And for many hours, the goddess was angry and shouted. And for many more hours, she was despondent and sulked. And finally, she turned an eye onto the ground to look at Aeon and Ray. And they were in the field where Ray had first found Aeon. They were garlands of flowers that they were surrounded by people they had loved. And for the first time, Aeon wasn't quiet at all. They were singing and dancing, their eyes sparkling, their hair floating on the wind. And the goddess saw that for the first time in an eternity, their child was happy. She regretted her bitter words then. 
But a goddess's word, once spoken, isn't easily broken. In sadness for her child's mortal days, she started crying. And one by one, her tears hit the earth in a thick cloud of rain. But instead of running from it, Aeon and Ray danced with it. And so the goddess said, Oh, I take it back. <laughs> for each tear of mine that falls onto you, may you live another year. And even as your hair turns gray and your skin turns parched, may that year see you both dancing and singing, still in love with each other. And according to elves, that's how we came to be. But I think that's a bit far-fetched. As they got a divorce about two years later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My love, are you tearing up? It's nothing. You're just really beautiful sometimes. Me? Me? <laughs> Me? Freya! I'm Freya. You're a born legend teller, Mr. Bailey's. It was an astounding rendition of that story. Yeah, that was epic. I'm not gonna look at Rain the same way now. Ugh, it's just a silly legend. It's not silly at all. And you're right. The goddess is a lot better than your mother. Told you. My history with Rain is a lot simpler. It It'd gets fall me on me, wet. I get wet, I get stinky. I just really love it when it rains outside and you're all warm indoors. Yeah, that's a very cozy feeling. My bedroom when I was a little girl was on the top floor. Lean into the mic, Yam. So I could hear the rain fall at night when I was in my bed. It was great. I wish we lived in a world where everyone had that. A place to be safe while the rain falls outside. For sure. <gasps> oh, look, there's at least another someone who's safe from the rain right now. Oof, that's a very wet little guy. Oh no, his little face! <laughs> Poor Gala, did he just shake rain all over you? He did a little, but that's fine. He's a cute one. Gala just picks the cat up like a hot dog and eats <coughs> him in one Ow. bite. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <coughs> Look at him yelling! I can't believe What's... I'm still being eaten. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing here, though? If he is, is he your Kappa Mumo? <sighs> no, but he's been around a couple of times. I do remember seeing him a week or so ago. He's not any friendlier than he was then. Although, he's not especially aggressive either. Maybe he's adopting this place. Wouldn't be the first. Hmm. That's pretty much how you got Hyde too. Huh. That's an apt comparison. It seems that he might be looking for something, though. The cat reaches its paw and then comes back up with a uh, a fire ID. It's like, actually, I've been an agent this whole time. No. Or someone? I'm Boo Mumo. If that's the case, he hasn't found them yet. He came by another time a few days ago and was actually quite helpful. But he didn't look settled in then, either. Oh, well, there he goes. Very mysterious. I'm here now. What did I miss? A cat, apparently. Oh, the chat yes, says I... you gotta reunite the cat with the owner, you have to 100% the game or something? No, oh, whatever. Mm. Oh, yes, I saw it go. What was that about? Mm, I'm not entirely sure. He's come by a couple of times, handful, whatever it was, but he doesn't seem to stay very long or ask for anything. I was saying that he might be looking for someone. Well, perhaps he is. In many traditions, cats are depicted as having special foresight. <gasps> Messengers between worlds, <gasps> so to speak. Lewis just freaking the fuck out. <laughs> he may know something that we don't, or see something that we can't. That's just what they want you to believe. Looking mysterious to get food and cuddles. I was saying that reminds me of someone, actually. No comment. <clears throat> uh-huh. Anyhow, so what was married. that call about? 
I was the t interior designer about the house. For some reason, he needed to know the exact size of my turntable, as well as whether I wanted walnut or oak floors. I just want floors I can walk on. That's surprising. I thought you'd be more particular about decoration, Hyde. I am particular, in the sense that I wanted to look good. Body's got no clue what to do to get there. I mean, you've seen his car. It's not, you know, peak design trends. That car served me right, thank you very much. I remember when a certain werewolf didn't want to drive me around. Ah, I shouldn't have brought that up, Truce. Why don't you help hide with decorating, then, Gala? Why, indeed. I... my job... time... Your job? Time? I see. Everyone's a critic, but the truth is, Gala has no understanding of color, material, or shape. I'm a lazy interior designer at best. But Gala is an interior designer's walking nightmare. Not true. I just go the for functional finger. things. That's what people say when they've got no taste. Yeah? Maybe my taste in vampires is the problem here. I think your taste in vampires is your one saving grace. Ugh. Awkward. <laughs> Anytime I see Bailey's laugh animation, I think it's like, <laughs> <laughs> You guys sound like you're gonna be just fine. Indeed. You know, being like this, all together when it's dark and damp, <laughs> feeling good and safe and home. It's a pretty rare feeling in a kind of public place. I think the kind is key here. As far as I can remember, this has never felt like a strange space to me. It's my space, and I'm lucky enough Facebook. to it's Snapchat that I'm lucky enough to share with other people I like. I definitely feel the same way. Thanks for that, Boomamo. I'm glad that's how it feels for you. Our patron's comfort has always been our priority. Cole oh, very much achieved then. That, and also you all... And also you are all right, yeah. Um, it sounds like I'm everyone's got... Whoa. Uh, it sounds like everyone's gonna be busy with their own stuff for a while, but I can't wait to come back here and see your faces again. Whether in a week, or a month, or a year, I know it's gonna be a good time. Cheers to that. Yeah, here. <laughs> You're all welcome again anytime, separately or together. And I'm looking forward to hearing what you get up to. We'll definitely pop by to give you news. And to get fury remedies. And to listen in on the drama. Can't wait to welcome you back. The fuck what? is that? Seattle? No. Oh, that's you. <laughs> I think the rain is over. And we've kept you for a while already, Bumumo. Yeah, we should all use the dry spell to get back home. Consider the night cold. You go first, guys, or we'll be stepping on each other's toes. All right. Good night, Bumumo. Good night. Good night, you two. Let's go, darling. Let's. Good night, Bumumo. Thanks again for being with us. Tonight, and on other nights. No. Thank you for everything. Truly. Have a good rest, Bumumo. Will do. We'll do Moo Moo. What? You guys coming? Yeah, just hold the door for me a second longer. <laughs> Bray, what are you doing? I'm carrying you over the threshold, of course. That's not the way into the home. No, that's that's on the way into the home, not on the way out of the bar. I can do both. You're silly. Maybe, but I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Bustling, busy, and a buzz. Me and Yam. <laughs> People whose thoughts I can hear almost as well as my own by now. Whose successes and failures matter to me as much as my own. I suppose that's what it feels like to have a chosen hive.
I'm Freya. Come on, Freya. Where you at, bitch? Stop raining for one day. It's like bumming me out by proxy. No. Did you hear what happened to Raccoon City? At fucked. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, get fucked, idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet that was fucking silver. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Oh, jeez. Hmm. Oh, you got so much stuff now. Oh, hey, Georgie. No offense, Georgie, but <laughs> I'm getting kind of tired of you. Your weird, your ghost plot didn't really matter, quite frankly. Oh, whose hand is that? Oh, that's, that's Amanda. Amanda's. Yeah, that's Amanda. He's just trying to wink. That's the first thing he's posted. Yeah. Ham for some. I'm surprised they have that few likes on their thing. Lua had a lot of followers, if I'm remembering correctly. Welcome, hey. Officer Georgie. Sorry, welcome, Officer Georgie. What's cracking? Wait a minute, you said hey before I said hey. Are you are you a time traveler? Are you a time traveler? Rewinds oh, in time. chat, chat points out, was that article about a disowned, disowned royal about him? Possibly, yeah, that's that's what I thought, but I clicked past oh. it too fast. Hmm. Aside from the thunder outside. Aside from the thunder outside, that is. Yep, deja what? vu. <laughs> Very funny that you said it after he said what. That's like perfect weird timing. <laughs> Nothing. Everything is fine. I have everything I need to avoid another blackout. Well, that's good news. <laughs> you know, this weather has kind of grown on me. Disagree. Really? Yeah. Not something I'd like to have forever, of course. But the thunder no longer sounds so angry to me. Interesting. What does it sound like to you? Hmm. No idea. You guys want to know the fun new problem my computer currently has? I'm clicking through the window of this game, and it will just select the thing behind it. Which is uh oh. Oh. So if there's ever a weird pause, it's because I phased through the game. Ghost. Just not scary anymore. Anyway, uh, I want to order something. Perfect. What would you like? Make me whatever I ordered a couple weeks ago. Milk. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, Be more huh? specific, bro. Yeah, give or take. You were promoting a new tea selection at the time. Good times. I remember it had an interesting color. I'll take whatever you gave me that day. Blue pea, blue pea cinnamon. Blue this game isn't whiter than the Zelda. <laughs> blue pea times three. Which is it, gang? I mean, I'll... That is a thing you, you you go to the doctor for. Thank you. I'll go now. <laughs> I want to check if this Goodbye. makes something new. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, yeah, no. I wasn't even supposed to be here today. Oh, it, is, it, is it just whatever you gave him? So, okay. The game remembers specifically. So even if you didn't give him something good... Okay. Baruch. Okay. All right. Soive it. There you go, officer. Hmm. Not really what I ordered, I think. All right, chat. Oh, it isn't? You're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, you know what? I'll take it anyway. <laughs> you know what? Save scum! You're right. If you give him milk, it does do something funny. <laughs> Heir of American business royalty disowned over choice of wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go back to day one. I don't wanna. Is that an option? Kinda. 
the block. I believe you guys that it was blue, blue cinnamon. We can time travel and give him milk. Oh, is that what you're saving and like reloading is supposed to be? Maybe. Cute. A cup of anth for you, officer. What? It's what makes the drink blue. Oh, okay. Uh, but my daughter told me this is really good for stress. Really? You stressed right now? <laughs> nah, don't worry. Because my daughter loves it so much, I was just trying to remind myself how it tastes. Yeah, good. Well, usually blue pea is mixed with a bunch of other ingredients. It's a very forgiving drink taste-wise, and it goes well with most things. And it looks pretty. Yeah, I could see that. Because it's tasteless except for grassy notes when you drink it straight. Right on. Does this mean you've already made up with your daughter? More or less. That's great. How are you, officer? How's work? Work, huh? Oh, this must be Boomomo from Timeline Z. <laughs> well, it's only been a couple of days since I was here. But I admit, a lot has happened. Huh? <laughs> Patience, pal. We don't have all the players here to complete the story yet. Oh, someone else coming? Two more. All right, then. But what do you mean by complete the story? Well, like I said, there's been a lot going on. I can't recount the whole thing alone. I see. But you know, Bumomo. You knew, Bumomo. <laughs> For a while, this old man felt like he'd been living in a stagnant pool. When he thought he started out on a flowing stream. Didn't take long for him to find out it wasn't a stream or even a pool. It was more like a mud puddle. That was constantly being filled with dirt, year after year. Anyway, my wife and I are getting a divorce. <laughs> and, well, no matter how much he tried to keep it clean. The puddle would always dry out before any of his attempts bear fruit, every single time. He'd end up stuck on the bottom with only occasional rainwater keeping his existence going. Right. <laughs> okay. Where's this going, dude? Right. Right feels the, like the wrong casual response to me here. Maybe he's right. However, after a bout of heavy rain, he discovered a small crack of hope. You dis discovered a small dead drop of crack. <laughs> <laughs> a thin line leading to another flowing water. A thin blue line? <laughs> Shut up! Oh, Shut up! In the original direction he wanted. Know what I'm saying? I nope. think so. Oh, right, that's me! Lucas is in the house! Yo! Hey! Yo, Mr. White! <laughs> <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up? And you, Pop, so goes it. All good. You're in high spirits, aren't you? Always. Anyway, Pops, what's shaking? I think I should be the one asking you that. What's with all the excess energy? You're right, and I probably should explain, but first... Dear Pumumo, may I put it in order? No. Heh <laughs> I'd like a uh, fucking uh, <laughs> bloopy latte with super cool latte art on top. A bloopy latte? Is that like a drink one of them squids from Mario Brothers? No! Makes? It's them little bitches from Zelda! I assume this is like blue pea and milk. A fucking blue burger. Pea, milk, milk. Blue milk, milk. Draw Sonic. <laughs> That looks like shit. Dude! No, you gotta draw it, paint. you gotta draw it. You giving me paint! Alright, blue pea milk milk. Okay. You already made that joke? I made that joke before you did, but quieter. That's the second time I've made that so joke. So they're fucking done. Yeah. <laughs> You're using too much, bro. I... This is a cursor! I... I don't know how to express how difficult this is. Also, I'm not drawing anything specific. Whoa. 
Some cool latte art. <laughs> what the fuck is this, bro? The first time you meet Bailey's, he's just like, why don't you draw me some art? And then no matter what you draw him, because obviously the game has no way of discussing anything. It's just like, it. wow, this is what passes for art here. <laughs> it's just so fucking... It's like, blood out your ass, Bailey's. Which is funny, because, like, I like Bailey's. It's just, he's got a real Machias Cold Steel introduction <laughs> on him. <laughs> like... Fucking Jesus yeah. Christ. Oh! Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now we're it. fucking up. Hey. Yeah, fuck it up, fuck it up! The fact that you're right... Is this... it a bird? I told you, I'm not drawing anything specific. It's just shapes. It's actually, this is the uh, school mascot colors of my, uh, my middle school. Wanna guess what our animal was? Uh, penguin. Nope. Bigger um, penguin. You got it. Is it just, was it just a blue jay? It was a hornet. For oh. blue? Yes. Huh. Whoa. Well, that's fucked well, up. Anyway. Here you go. Now it's cold. <laughs> yeah, man. Wow. A cup of blue latte with a masterpiece on it. Thank you very much. Masterpiece, huh? I like your confidence. Oh, d Ew. oh no. Don't post that. <laughs> don't wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Anyway, cheers. <laughs> you, how did you drink the cup and leave the tea? I, <laughs> Influence your secret, bro. I so clearly pictured when you made that sucking noise, his, his fucking mouth shooting forward. And his like, face. noop, noop. Yeah, did but you like... Know, did, <laughs> did you know, satyrs have proboscis? Fake creatures, bro. Coffee, not anymore. You know what I'm doing with my life. Nice. Thanks, Boom Boom. This tastes like wheat. <laughs> so. So, what's up, kid? Also out, Pops. I'm waiting for the lady to arrive. Oh, so Miss Riona's coming. Yeah, she should be here soon. The last couple of days have been really intense for us. In fact, I didn't even sleep at all until last night. <laughs> Me too, man. Oh, uh, why? Except I didn't sleep last night either. Uh, let's just say we've been busy cooking up stuff. Tisk tisk. What? What is it? I know you're a hustler, kid. Your schedule's probably not like everyone else's. But I hope you won't drag others into unhealthy habits unnecessarily. Although, I know next to nothing about Banshee biology. Doesn't she do late night deliveries? Oh? Yeah, sometimes she does deliveries until morning. Then never mind, kid. Forget everything I said earlier. Whoo! I was like, oh man, what stupid thing did I do this time? I really like Lucas. I feel really bad for him. <laughs> nah, I was just pulling your leg. You're both adults. I was just playing around as the nosy, annoying old man. Still, it's good to, that you guys are talking, especially considering what happened the first time you two met. Yeah, no kidding. That's what I mean by me doing stupid things, too. Sometimes I don't slow down enough to see the forest for the trees, you know? It happens. As long as you're aware of it and take a step back from time to time. Yep. So, were you staying up because of the new podcast you posted? Oh, yes! Have you watched it? No, it's a podcast in 2023. What the fuck are you thinking? What podcast? The link's on my tea chill, Pops. That was a podcast? You've already seen it too? Oh man, I'm stoked! I thought it was like a ghost hunt or something. With how dark everything was, lighting-wise. So it was too dark? Ugh. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I'll admit, what you call the ghost hunting segment was shot kinda spontaneously. What do you think about the the whole thing, Pops? You too, Boomomo, tell me. Well, I saw the post, but I haven't had the time to watch it yet. I'm sorry. Ah, well, don't be sorry. But, go watch it when you have the time, alright? Will do. 
Well, since I thought it was a ghost hunt, I didn't, you know, I didn't watch it all the way to the end. Oh, okay, that that's fair. Understandable. My daughter enjoyed watching the whole thing, though. Ah, that's so great to know. She told me Rachel was there, too. What gives? Rachel? Who's that? Yeah, she was her first guest. Oh, so did you film the episode right after you three talked about it the other day? Exactly. That's why it was spontaneously done. Oh, man, I am not sleeping at all. But the whole thing is not all about ghost hunting, Pops. That was just the clickbait. The actual story is... I know my daughter summarized it for me. You brought up the street. And the tree, too, didn't you? Exactly, because it was part of our plan, right? Mm -hmm. Welcome, Miss Riona. Hello. Lady, finally you're here. You can't fucking call your co-host Lady. It's so weird. <laughs> Good evening, miss. Hi, everyone. Was the traffic bad for you? No, not at all. I had to deliver something before I came. That's why I'm a bit late. I apologize. Nah, you're not late. I'm just early. Would you like anything to drink? Time to ignore Georgie. Good. <laughs> yes, please. I'd like a cup of mild coffee, sweetened with a lot of honey, if you would. Ugh, coffee and honey doesn't sound great. Yeah, no, it really doesn't, does it? <laughs> Oh, really? I did coffee, honey, honey, right? All right. Yeah. Coffee, honey, honey. Boo, boo, beep, boo, beep, boo. <clears throat> coffee, honey, honey. <laughs> That's what I used to order back in the day. Really? So, what's really been happening with you two? This could stay up for days for something, apparently. Does that include you as well? Yes. But those are just my regular working hours. See? See? And I thought you were done talking about that, Pops. What the heck? I'm not done playing the role of annoying and nosy old guy, that's all. Jeez. Oh, by the way, uh, thank you for telling me about that pie shop, miss. Somehow I didn't know it existed. You talking about disco pie? Yep, that place closes up at midnight. It follows the schedule of the pub uh, adjacent to it. Now my daughter can get pie even when I'm home late. I see, that's good. I still have to serve pie until 1 a.m. left. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that late. I know, uh, but like, this... The writer's not checking their work. Yeah, it's weird. Sorry, what's the inconsistency there? Well, um, they said they serve pies till 1 a.m., not midnight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's weird. I, I literally, I was looking at the next two lines. I'm a bad investigator. I swear I'm not trying to point your regulars in the direction of your rival, Boomoomo. Well, it doesn't sound like they keep very consistent hours. Fuck them. It's fine. Well, that's like Boomoomo does. It's fine. It's fine. What rival? Maybe I should start selling food here for Coffee Talk 3. You really should, man. Like. Insane you don't have food. I. I go to cafes for the little pastry, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, get a little treat or a little sandwich. Did I miss something? No, I was wondering too. Well, as you probably know, especially if you follow my teacher, we started a vlog slash podcast thing. Right. My daughter watched the first episode yesterday. Did she like it? She loved it. I heard her laughing all the way. It wasn't a comedy. <laughs> I'm oh. glad. So, what is this vlog slash podcast thing, really? Yeah, please clarify. I saw you had this walk around session in the episode. I thought podcasts were supposed to be voice only, like a radio show, but you don't need to catch it live. Well, nowadays there are a lot of podcasts with videos. Oh, so a video. Yeah. <laughs> No. Voice is still the most important part, though, and we did have the carpool podcast later in that episode, so usually there'll be two versions of the same episode, the voice-only one on audio streaming platforms, and the full video posted on the video streaming platforms. Oh, I see. Sounds difficult to create both at the same time. Must require a lot of planning, doesn't it? 
It does. If you're not the Lucas, that is. Thanks to my editing and interviewing skills, you can enjoy the action session in the voice-only version all the same. I see. It wouldn't be possible to make the episode as compelling, though, without Lady Riona giving us some good information to make the episode work. Somehow her voice really resonates well in the mic. She's a banshee. So it was a, <laughs> so it was a joy to eat, to, I to eat, it. Is, it. eat it. <laughs> So it was a joy to edit into the narration, huh? <laughs> also, Rachel was probably the best first guest we could have gotten. We even got to sneak preview of her new singles. What? <laughs> Our first episode got tons of views because of that. Bro, she was under NDA! <laughs> uh -oh. That's her song. <laughs> really? That's great. It's not just her song, she has a partner. <laughs> it's her yeah. song, it's fine. I, I wonder if that was cleared by her manager. Probably not, because mm. she knows what she's doing. Uh, or, but she knows what I'm doing, I'm sure. Uh, I can see why you two stayed up for days now. <laughs> Sounds great, y'all. So, miss. Yes? Are you enjoying your new role as a show co-host? I've never been so unhappy. Well, it's interesting so far, and I'm learning a lot of new skills, so I am eager to keep working on it. All the while, I'll keep looking for auditions and honing my craft. That's all I needed to know. So, what else is in this episode? Go watch it. Just kidding, it's okay. You can watch it whenever. I will, later after work. So, Mr. Lucas, you said this is part of your plan. And Officer, you said you need all players to be here to form a complete story. What's up with all that? Box, if you please. All right, all right, I'll start. Bumumo, do you remember what we talked about a couple days ago? Nah, see ya. Which part? I asked you and Gallo which you preferred, wild rumors or bad press. Though you didn't answer. Ah, uh, yes, I remember now. You said something about combining them, I think? Oz? Oh, sorry. I assume Georgie would be talking more us working on art. Uh, yep, and that's where I and Lady Riona come in. Oh, oh. Pops was telling me about his meetup with the grieving vandals. So I know the whole story and I get what they're going for. It's not that they want their friend to be remembered in a bad way. Yeah, they just want them to be remembered, period. So from talking with Pops, I had an idea. I had an idea to turn their actions into a neighborhood legend, urban legend. With their and the victim's family's permission, of course. The victim's family? When the officer asked me if I knew them, I was able to track them down. You did? That's great, how? They work at the fucking gnome store. We talked about this. Um, we operate on a similar wavelength, which is the easiest way to explain it. It took a while, but I managed to reach them. I see, that makes sense. So you're trying to turn their act of vandalism into urban legend. Exactly right. Urban legend usually starts with hearsay, created from half-truths and half-exaggeration, from each speaker to the next listener. Like a game of tag. Sometimes they can even be all lies, but most of them often serve as a cautionary tale. Yep. But the real best thing about this one is it's all real. It really didn't take much for me to tweak it into a whole new story. Why did it need tweaking? To make it less clear, of course, because you want everyone to get curious. If you explain everything all at once, there's no mystery for others to dig into. Once they're hooked on the premise, folks will try finding things out on their own. And in this case, because the tree already has an actual long history, those who, oh my god, fall asleep over here. Those who dig for more information will surely fall down the rabbit hole. Other content creators who are into this stuff will lap it up. And they tend to be big. Then, the rest is history. Their friend's memory will have a life of its own. Fucking... <laughs> Today, me, a, a believer, my partner, a skeptic. Today, we'll be visiting the Gone Tree. I couldn't think of a name for it. Ryan Vergara. <laughs> you really want to keep that take? Shut up. Shut up, Shane. 
I, I see what you mean. Oh, okay, you live your life. <laughs> I, who we, am I? We do pretty good Ryan and Shane impressions at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have the story in yesterday's episode? Part of it. The taking tree. <laughs> We're planning to discuss it further in a couple episodes. <laughs> because you need to give the impression time to propagate, you know? Honestly, it was a it was probably good enough because my daughter couldn't stop asking me more about it. She knows the story was based on my case, and she's been telling her friends at school about the video. Without letting them know it was my case, of course. That would be bad. Sounds very promising though. You're telling me, that's great. Send her thanks to your daughter, Pops. Eh. Uh, what? This is all very different, but a somewhat exciting experience. What? That's just a strange thing to say. <laughs> I'm oh. a- Oh, we don't! <laughs> no, I. that was me rereading this. Like, what? How do you know it'll work? We don't! It's not that easy to influence that many heads, you know. But you were so confident. Because... We'll never know the outcome of anything unless we try. Mm, that's true. Okay. Well, congrats on taking a step into a new direction, kiddos. Who knows? Maybe someday soon I'll join in on that. You wanna become an influencer too, Pops? Ha! <laughs> Could you imagine? Nah, I meant taking He'd a step into- He'd get cancelled immediately. A... You're a cop, there's I... no way. Mm -hmm. I meant taking a step into a new direction. How about Georgia Williams, private investigator sounds? How about sounds? <laughs> yeah, wait, what the fuck? This this game really needed another like three read throughs to catch some of the syntax errors. <laughs> wow, really? For real? For real? Nah, nah, I'm kidding. Or am I? Who really knows at this point? I mean, I think it fits you well. Thanks for the vote of confidence, miss. I might have to leave soon. Huh? Why? I haven't eaten anything substantial since this morning, and some fucking idiot doesn't serve food. <laughs> he only knows how to make a bit of pie in a cup, but it's not very good. And Boomer was a Protestant man. He was a very, very nice no, man. he's a very, very nice man, but... <laughs> it was a really busy day. Oh, word? All right, let's go then. Uh, you can stay. I'll just go for a quick bite and come back. Nah, let's just go. We're partners, right? Besides, we still have a lot of things to discuss. You're right. Okay, if you're fine with it. But, before we go, I want to give a final test to Bumumo. A test? Yeah. To be honest, I'm very impressed with your coffee shop. It's one of the best I've ever been in. And I see your regulars are loyal as well. So I want to send you a luxurious, Lucas-approved five-star plaque. Oh, my. So that's real, huh? What's that? Nothing. Uh, does this mean this coddy sh- This coddy shop? <laughs> this <Yeah>. coddy shop! <laughs> this coddy shop! Ain't that- Never mind. <laughs> we'll be the part of the hottest gang now? Only if you pass this one test. Make me a custom order based precisely on my preferences. Could you tell me a bit more? After all, the relationship between a shop and its patrons is based on deep familiarity. So, I just want you to make me a oh, drink based on... <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm very bad at hitting these two buttons, and I often skip by accident. So, I just want you to make a drink based on what you know about me. I can't really drink coffee anymore, but I still need the caffeine. Right. I like really sweet things... And sometimes I forget to eat, so I'll need something rich to soften up the drink. Bro, you need what? a snack is what you need. Eat food. Eat a fucking granola bar. What special drink would satisfy all that? Pie in a cup. Pie in a cup. Mm. Green tea, honey milk. Okay. Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Can I ask that um you hand... uh. Oh, that's very cute. Can I ask that you hand uh, Lucas back to Yam for the latter half of this day yeah, so it. that it's bookended? Okay. I awaken. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. 
Beyblade Burst Turbo! <laughs> oh, that looks nice, kid. What do you call this? Since it's made for your approval, five stars. How's that sound? Oh, that's really cute, actually. Put the quotation marks and everything? Perfection. Truly a service worthy of Lucas's five stars. Cheers. Bill, gross, disgusting. Oh my God, he's drinking it. I know it's piss. <laughs> wow, that's hot. Jeez. It's, I know it's piss. <laughs> my secret piss spice. Jojo. Ugh. <laughs> It's crazy to me Iraqi isn't made fun of for his obvious piss fetish more often. Mm -hmm. I guess there's just too much to make fun of him for. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just getting rid of all these notifications because they drive me crazy. Get the shit out of here. You don't have to drink it all at once. I think it's time for us to go. Uh, I mean, for me. Roger that. Let's get going then. See you later, Pops. Good luck with everything. You too, He's you gonna too. have such an upset stomach. He always has an upset stomach. Bye, Boo Moo See you again soon. Goodbye. Sorry, just fucking around. So, just you and me now. Nothing wrong with that, is the dialogue. I have to go soon, though. Duty calls. Sure. Come on. Yeah! yeah! Hello, Boomoo How are you? Freya, God, I missed you. Hey, Miss Greenhair. Hey, officer. Long time no see. Heard you've been around the world, huh? Around the world is a bit much. But I've been somewhere. I'm glad to see you here, Freya. <laughs> well... As much as I'd like to stay in chat, duty calls. Oh, that sucks. I missed you. Well, see you later then, Georgie. Yeah. Don't forget to tell Bumumo the truth, okay? Huh? She's had later, never Bumumo. written a book in her fucking life. <laughs> she didn't leave. <laughs> I've been I've been glued under the counter. I've been I'm here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Freya. Later, Bumumo. I will. Fuck did that mean? Let me move over there. So, my buddy, my pal, my good friend, Bumumo, what's up? Why didn't you tell me you were coming? Before you start blaming me, it was a last minute thing. Even I didn't know I'd be back so soon. What makes you return sooner than expected? Well, maybe I'll tell you after a drink. Hey, do you remember my very first order ever? Espresso? <laughs> yep, you have a good memory. The first time I was here, it was raining as hard as it is now. It's all literally always raining. Shut up. I'm Freya. I thought nothing was open anymore until I saw your shop. Your espresso was one of the best coffees I've ever had. Thank you. One espresso for me, please. A coffee, coffee, coffee. You know it. I don't have any items left, do I? No. I didn't think I did. I just wanted to check. <clears throat> Here you go, Freya. A cup of triple shot espresso for you. Great! Ah, again, this deep aroma and such stellar flavors. Thanks. So, you mind telling me why Officer Georgie said what he said? Which part? Oh, do I get her? No, you mean when I get her? She's, oh, get her. she's, she's so, so hot. She's so pretty. <laughs> she's so pretty. Oh, look how many followers she already has. Yay! I'm like, I'm like worried for her. That's such a life change to have that many eyes on you. But like, God, she's really hot. In which part? Something about telling me the truth. Ah. Well, about that. <sighs> okay. I'm leaving for a writer's res residence soon, and it's really, really far away. What? I know, I know. It was impulsive. It was something I did on a whim. 
I know. Me and my old buddy sent the application form like last month, not really expecting anything. But we got accepted, and somehow it's for this year's rotation. Which means I need to pack and get ready really soon. It's not a scam, is it? <laughs> of course not. How long is it going to be? I don't know, probably a few months. But I might try to keep traveling after that. Okay. Are you sad? Nope. Don't be sad while I'm gone, okay? I said I'm not sad. Duh. Anyway, tell me what's been happening all this time I've been gone. There should be a lot of juicy stories waiting for me, right? You have no idea. Spill it. Everything. Shatters the coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it started around two weeks ago. Okay, get ready to read for your characters. Aqua's working on her game while Myrtle helps her from time to time. Oh, look at my big chin. They're a good team. Big chin, Myrtle. <laughs> <laughs> Silver and Amanda's trip took them a bit further than they expected. And Pearl appears in a number of their selfies from London, Sydney, and Mongolian Steppe. Hyde's reputation as a dreamy, sensitive wedding photographer spread around all of Seattle. And Gala is fond of qualifying himself in those exact terms to Hyde's... Oh. Lou and Bailey's brought a little, bought a little house with large windows and a small garden and an extra bedroom. Bailey's has been using it as a workspace, but since ready to fulfill the role... Oh my god, these are fast. Fuck. Yeah. The Nicochel X Aramie collaboration was as successful as a new single was released on time. But I. Uh, Hell you yeah! Know. Guys are killing it! We got it! In spite of its impromptu nature, their first vlog cast was a success, especially with Rachel's appearance boosting the views. Lucas's team joined the production a few episodes later and they're thinking of eventually covering everything! Word of mouth spread the story of the accident, resulting in a combination of history and urban legend. A petition then was created to memorialize the site, which was successfully included in the area renewal process. Fuck me. I thought it was a park. Oh, that's sad. Hmm. I like the idea of the conclusion of using using like social media virality to put a a like to give longevity to like a fae thing like that and also to just like keep it locked in history i think that's mm -hmm. very smart and i like that idea i don't think half of georgie's story should have been there or he shouldn't have been the one telling it i think it should have just been lucas investigating it and yep. eventually um our girl gets in on it also because she's the one who's got the connection to it. Yeah, I agree. Yep. He shouldn't have been haunted by a lighter. Yeah, that was dumb Proof and weird. Anna Winterstein. She's one of the two writers too. So someone said this is like an Indonesian team. So, like, obviously you've got all these, like, it's very hard to translate a game, but when when the entirety of your game is text, like, I do think you kind of have to nail it. And, like, especially in this last set uh, setting, kind of a lot of errors, actually. Yeah, I, like, I'm more forgiving of the typos, especially if, you know if the team doesn't have English as a first language. Uh, what I'm a little less not okay with is, like, just... There's just inconsistencies with some of the characters and just, like, some of the things that were said. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Designer and, and, and writer Muhammad Fami passed away in 2020, uh, 2022 at 32. That's oh, way too young. God. I don't think every character needed to come back from this game. I also agree. I, 
Yep. I think they should have focused on maybe like three character new, new ones in total. And like really, like as much as I loved seeing Freya at the end, I think Freya, Aqua, and um, what's her nuts? Orc girl. Um, Myrtle. Myrtle. I was going to call him her Mara. And I was like, that's not right. Um, I think they got the perfect amount of like, we're still in this game. And Rachel too, actually. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hello? <clears throat> Is that the cat. damn cat? Yeah. Is the cat? Oh. Oh. Uh. Milk. Oh. Uh. What is chat saying? I'm seeing a lot of milk. Who milk actually milk. knows? Hope you enjoy this small offering of ours. Oh, there is no right answer. Don't worry. It's on the house. We'll be open all night, so feel free to stay a while. As long as you like. Until you feel you're ready to leave. Okay. Yeah, it's the ghost, I guess. Chat's asking, like, oh, are you guys going to 100% this night? I'm going to be honest, I'm not really interested in continuing this one. Uh, someone in chat was also like, yeah, the silver equivalent, like, 100% cutscene is just you get to see the cat's owner. And to quote them, it wasn't really worth the time. Uh, especially because it's not an easy dive through the rest of the game. Like, you have to get, mm. like, 12 different other endings for characters. Oh, Oof. Yeah. 100% does hmm. take a lot of time. I'm not interested, to be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with yeah. not worrying about that. You need, like, two and a half full more runs. No thanks. Oof, no. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I I feel like they could have just rolled with having essentially a new cast, and that would have been just fine. Yeah, I, I respected the choice to, like, have Freya not in it, actually. And it's, it's strange, because, like, if you asked me at the end of the first game, I would have been like, I liked this cast. I would have, like, loved more focus on them. But then... I found I was most interested, like, I was so much more interested in the stuff with Riona and Lucas than anything yes. else going on. And 100%. And, like, I, I like having Hyde pop on by and whatnot just because he's a great character, but I think it works well for him to just pop in, do his thing, and then walk out. Like, he doesn't need to be a focal character. Well, he wasn't in the first game either, which made him good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and like, I would uh, even, trim Georgie. <laughs> yeah, Georgie was definitely the problem. And like, even though I didn't dislike Lua and Bailey, like, or whatever, I I find their problems so comparatively basic to the rest of the cast in this setting that, and like, essentially, they just need a pep talk that any like well-minded friend could give them. And I think it's much more interesting to use this setting and this cast to explore stuff like the idea of being like how do you preserve memories of a race of fictional creatures that inherently memory wipe everyone when they die is a very interesting question and wrapping it up with an answer like the one that Riona and Lucas find is very clever and a really good use of the setting and also making it modern which is interesting um and like I love the ending for Hyde. And it's 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 a great moment for Hyde, but at the same time it's like, oh, what's gonna happen with Luca and Bailey's wedding? Like the minute they were like, What are we gonna do for our wedding? I'm like, we're having the wedding here, and we'll just talk to them and be like, You're you want a small wedding for you. Like literally three lines of dialogue into that stuff. 
And then yeah. the only the only surprise was that Hyde ended up being the photographer, which is great. I wouldn't call it a bad subplot, but like, I don't think it was as strong as the first game. Yeah. I am. Um, I like the stuff with Silver and Amanda. Oh, that was yeah. fine. That was very sweet. <coughs> Amanda's all. I yeah. I, I genuinely forgot about them because they weren't in the. Uh, little two epilogue ones but yes no they were good all the all the stuff with the aliens is is pretty pretty interesting i feel like the dark side detective stuff should have been a stinger i feel like it should have been one line of dialogue for each of the cameo characters yeah does anyone that. has anyone seen a good example of that where like a publisher will be like put it like i was just I was just talking about how, uh, with some people, how Valhalla has a Yik cameo in it, and oh, vice sure, versa. Sure. Does anyone like when games do that? I think the only time I've seen crossovers where I really like them is like in Soul Calibur, where they're like, hey, you get Link, or here's Ezio. Yoko Taro. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh. I think, I think things like that are fine. I, I don't know. Fuck, I just thought of... I, I have a good one, but I don't think it's good in the way the developers wanted it to be good. The uh, Ape Escape crossover with Metal Gear Solid is the best video game oh. cutscene of all time. Not in a story-based game. That's really important. Aloha's right. Yeah, Aloha's correct. And I think, well, like, for example, the Ape Escape thing, that's like a little side piece of content, right? Like, that's not in the main game. Right? Sorry, while well, I was reading chat, um, um, the Ape the, Escape the thing? Yeah, the Ape Escape thing. That's not no, like in uh, the main in, game, right? In Metal Gear Solid 3, there is a optional collectible quest that's very, very hard uh, to find and shoot all of the hidden Ape Escape statues, which, like, I was just like, what's that? And I shot one. Like, I didn't even recognize it as an Ape Escape thing. Um, so it worked fine. It just felt like a video game element. And then the Ape Escape one is like a silly little mini game that is completely yeah. separate from the main story. See, that's totally fine. I think it's when it gets pulled into, like, main content, then it's a head-scratcher of, like, why why do? Yeah, this one was this one was very strange. I... It was very noticeable. What are the extras? Are there any good extras? Gallery. Can I see, like, character art or something? Okay. Oh, there's a lot. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'll just click through it as we talk about our thoughts. I kind of like. Yeah. Like, oh, these are the profile pictures. Oh, nice. Aww. It's very cool of them to credit the individual artists. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I don't know. I I definitely liked one more. Um. I, I do there... too. Overall, I think it's I think it's a stronger total package, even though like. I don't think I'd say, like, I think this one's worth playing if you enjoyed the first one, but again, I think it's worth playing for Lucas and Riona, who I really like. <laughs> he ballin', bro! This sure does look like a thumbnail. <laughs> Can we get one million likes? likes. <laughs> yeah. Um, There's Riona I mean, I... concept art. Exciting. Yeah, I, I think you're right where you could basically cut Georgie entirely. Maybe not entirely, but like maybe have him be the I, setup. Of I would've, like, oh, yeah, I would've loved to see him as the inciting incident. And then he could kind of just be in the background. And then maybe at the end, it's like, oh, you figured it out. I've been investigating that. Like it's and weird. I helped. It's whatever. weird he was the driving force of that plot line. Well, cause he didn't do anything. Yeah. He's like this driving force. Like I gotta figure it out. But then he like, didn't. Doesn't want to interact <laughs> with it because it's ghosts. Yeah. I also, don't know. I I stand by the fact that the treatment of ghosts in this universe is beyond bizarre and doesn't read right to me. Yeah. I love her. She's just like mm. she's just such a grounded person. <laughs> Yo, rock dude. Yeah. Locked. Locked. We, we probably didn't see it because it was on mm. another. Oh, sure. Yeah. This one's really good. <laughs> it's funny that she's like an octopus mermaid, but you like you don't see anyone's lower half. I always forget that Lucas's lower half is goat. Goat. Yeah. Do 
she's so hot. <laughs> yeah. Someone in chat was like, Jello, stop talking about wanting to fuck ghosts. No. <laughs> no. No, no I'll, I'll come in and defend you. Like, the moment I saw her, I was like, this chick rules. I won't lie. Uh, I, I won't lie. I'm glad Oz came in and was like, oh, we should make her Irish. It's like, oh, no, it twirls my hair. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Chocolate. This lighter was very it's strange. It's a lighter. I thought it was a yeah. chocolate. Okay, these are the Spidgey items. Spinner. This is a nice picture. He got his hair puffed up. Bailey's yeah. is just such a normal ass guy. <laughs> also, can I just say, I don't feel like given the amount of time describing the strange incidents, I don't feel like we were given an appropriate amount of explanation for the incident. They were just like, fairy people appeared. Like not even Riona being like, Oh yeah, that's a power that like this specific type of fairy could use. That makes sense or whatever. It's just like some gnomes appeared and it's like, go on. What Ex do you mean? Explain. <laughs> oh, you know what? Do you guys remember how in the first game, I think someone was like, at some point we had this talk because I was like, I think this is the first game we've played that I think this might be the ideal way of experiencing this game is listening to us read it out loud. Um, mm. I, I, I think I followed that up a little bit where I was like, yeah, this is good. But at the same time with this game, I feel like there's a lot of really mundane dialogue that um, is actually pretty, pretty fun when read aloud, but like, Red is just text. It kind of turns into that, like, why is this here level of text. Yeah. And I think this game was worse about it. And also, you know what I just remembered right at the end? I don't like that Boomumo has the same dynamic with everybody in this game. Whereas in the previous oh, one, yeah. he and Freya, he's such a bitch to Freya. And it's so funny. I miss that. Like, instead he's just like, I'm just the mysterious guy who can solve all your problems. But with Freya, he's like, Lamau idiot. <laughs> and that really yeah, changed up the interactions. Well, because what it did it is also proved at the end of, like, Bumumo's gimmick of, like, adapting to people. Mm -hmm. And being their, like, maybe not their perfect foil, but, like, the one that balances them the best. Yeah. Man, I love... Yeah. Freya was just a really strong, like... Even if, like, her her storyline, I'm just being like, can I write a story in this time? I think on its own was pretty boring if you took that just in isolation. But her personality is really cute. Can, can you go back to that that photo? Look look at the size of Bailey's ring because he's got those big man hands. <laughs> yeah. It's also, like, I was trying to be nice about it because I was, like, honestly waiting to see if there'd be an explanation. But um, in both games... People would join in the middle of a stream and be like, I haven't seen this. And Georgie would show up and they'd be like, is he a gnome or a dwarf or something? Because his head is so much smaller than every single other character's. <laughs> and it just is. And it looks weird. <laughs> like, I have, to, I have to point it out. I love her freaky eyes. Yeah. No, everything about her is excellent. Oh, he's a golem. That's fun. She's really cute. Sweater. The old outfits. I love, uh, un unsurprisingly, big fan of the cute mermaid girl in turtlenecks and sweaters. So who's your who's your favorite character in the whole duology, guys? I mean, Hyde is really good. Hyde's really good. It's really good. <laughs> Oh. Aww. Aww. Gucci. Gucky. <laughs> Gucky. I think Rachel had a big glow up this game as well, did, actually. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh I love this look. Oh. 
good this choice. Is the left one. <laughs> good choice. I I'm shocked we didn't get another freak out from her at any point. Yeah. I don't think it's a bad thing. Like I'm just I was just surprised because they put so much effort into her sprites. I also good choice on them going with the scary eyes. They picked the right hair, too. Oh. <laughs> Obra Dinn artwork. Mm hmm. Yeah. Papers, please, artwork. Mm hmm. Grog. What? Hmm. What? I think it's spelled wrong. <laughs> I don't understand. Yo. You know, if I cover the face, this actually looks like it could be Oz art with the way the arms Maybe. are rendered. Maybe. Aww. Neil is a really good character. Yeah. Very funny that he's got a flip phone. No. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Uh, that's coffee talk. I don't know what I'm going to do in the next two, three weeks, but uh, kind of, kind of unfortunate timing here, but, um, because Yam and I are going to be out of town at the end of July, but the fucking puppet horror game that I directed comes mm. out on like the 18th. So I was going to get that and stream that. Yo ho ho. Well, fun. Yeah. Valhalla. It would be very interesting to play Valhalla after this, considering Coffee Talk is so similar. I'd like almost be worried about how direct the comparison would be. Yeah. Hmm. I saw Dark Deity 2 was listed on Steam. I don't think it's out yet. I, I think it's announced. I think it literally just got announced. Uh, Here, I'll, I'll take a gander. Yeah, I'm looking as well. Do, 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 do. Dark Deity 2. I mean, you definitely... Coming have... soon. Coming soon. Hmm. That could mean anything. Yeah, no idea. Okay. I mean, I'll definitely play that as well. I hope... I played a lot of the first one. I hope it's better than the first one. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed no, the gameplay a lot, uh, and I enjoyed reading it, even though I don't think the script was very strong. The support conversations were weirdly good, actually. I don't know. I'm, I'm watching the trailer, and I'm a big fan of Gwyn already. Okay. <laughs> what? I Listen. <laughs> what do you want from me? All right, thank you guys for coffee talking. Yeah, wow. thank you. Have a good night, chat. Bye, everybody. Bye. Toodles. Okay, stream ended. <laughs>